Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games, and it's After Dark tonight. Mm -hmm. So I should turn out some of these lights. Yeah. I forget. It's nice because they're not shining in our eyes so much. Let's oh, I don't mind them. That's not bad. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. There we go. Yeah. Lip from behind. Oh, thank you, Nostalgic. Oh, we are happy to be back, but we're very happy from where we came from, Yay! which is P-R-G-E. Oh mm -hmm. my God, it was such a fun time. We had a great so time. So we're going to be... It's very rainy out. So we're going to be going over... Is it just fans? That's just the... Laptop fan. The laptop fan's taking off right now. Okay. Yep. Um, so we're going to be going over what we picked up at P-R-G-E. We're going to be going over what we did at P-R-G-E. Yep. So many stories and things to show off, mm -hmm. and um, we're also going to be trying for a high score. Not a high score. We're going to be trying for the patch. The patch. Woo! In Gorf, Gorf Arcade. Yeah. Yes. Where's my box? I don't know. There it is. In Gorf Arcade. Uh, I have achieved the two first two patches. Here's Gorf Arcade. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're going to try for, or I'm going to try for the third patch. <laughs> yeah, you yes. You can still keep trying for the first patch. I can try for yep. the first. Yep. Yeah, it's achievable. It's very I achievable. I think so. I think so. Uh, Nostalgic says, thanks for the streams from PRG. Those were fun. Yeah. I, I actually liked doing those a lot. Yeah, they were fun. Because um, last year at 2022 PRGE, I did, we did interviews. Uh, I think 15 interviews. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Sorry. Allergic to the cats. <laughs> that was um, explosive. Um, <laughs> Excuse me. Okay. Keep talking. <laughs> you should get the stuff upstairs too. Explosive. Um, that was unexpected. <laughs> last year we um, did interviews with people, like recorded interviews, not live interviews, um, which took, oh my God, so much time. Um, but I wanted to do them because so many people came from all over the world um, and I wanted to take advantage of that. But this year we did roaming live interviews. Um, we kind of cobbled it together. Um, it yeah. was the, the quality of the stream was watchable, let's say. We were at the mercy <laughs> of the Wi-Fi, so yeah. you get what you get a little bit, but uh, it, it was okay. And also the laptop yeah. as well. So, but. Uh, but the laptop helped because it allowed you to format it and everything. And yeah, send do it overlays out. Yeah, and things. So, but next year, yeah. I have some better plans for doing streaming. Yeah. Much more light. We won't use the laptop. Yeah. Much more portable, mm -hmm. much higher quality, et cetera, et cetera, yeah. et cetera. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, sick shirt. Oh, this one or that one? Oh, my Atari 2600. Oh, oh, my God. <laughs> Did you step on a cat? No, but I my oh, foot went in their direction. <laughs> cats are freaked out. Yeah. Show off. It's like the cats the in all those videos that, that you see. Yeah, very nice. Yeah. 2600 plus shirt. Oh, 2600 plus. It is. So that's the schematic for the 2600 plus. It is, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Anyway. Yeah, we'll Sorry, go over. Sorry, kitties. Oh, wow, that, freaked that out. totally freaked them out. Sorry, guys. Come back in. They'll come back when, when it starts dinging. Yeah, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to scare you. Apologize to oh, the kitties. Oh, you got to apologize to the kitties. Yeah, to show them you didn't mean any, anything. <laughs> yeah. Um, but first, I want to thank uh, all the Twitch subscribers <clears throat> who help support the show. Mm -hmm. Scrolling beside Tanya, <laughs> whose names are Alan the Fur, Andrew Atari, Arms Guard, Coder, Atari 874, Atari Jit, Beef Supreme, BR Poke, Charles Donimel, Charles Willen, Chitlilla, Colonel Lamb, Dino Vodan, if you see, Daryl 970, Deals, Doc Mook has, Gamma Dev, Glenn Man, Grain Defender, Gro Ground Trooper, Drew Rapid, Jedekiah, Johnny WC, Carl G. Croco, Kveltifer, Lambda Express, Lord DZ, uh, Lord Kraken, Mark Yannis, Mark's Base, Inc., a Mick Muse, Mike Soul, Mick Letown, Miss Command, Mr. Zarmo, Mr. Fix, Nathan Strum, Neo Media, Net Spencer, Net Spectre, Nostalgia, Coag, RC70, Render Ghost, Revan, Tuli, Ricardo Pim, Rodcast, Six Weeks, Sledgehammer, Smitty B, Spicewear, Spinley, S. Ramirez, Tessin, Rocking, D Train, DK Dan, Gay, Teatfoes, Trek MD, Vexor X, Vintage Game and Memories, VVD Double Down, X Can X. A lot of names on that list we met there. Yes, yes. And like, oh, we met that one, and we yep. met that, and yep. we met that person, we met Fantastic. that person. Fantastic, yes. It was sometimes for the first time, sometimes yeah. for, uh, again, from mm -hmm. last year or years before. If you would like to support the show and get your name on the list and mm -hmm. have me read it out stumbly, uh, you can hit subscribe on Twitch. Mm -hmm. um, and if not, you can just follow us on Twitch, mm -hmm. and it'll alert you when we do these streams that are kind of ad hoc sometimes. I just kind of announced right. this one a couple hours ago. 
because I wanted to go through what we got as yes. soon as possible. And because Friday's show is kind of a big show and I didn't want to interrupt that because the devs are from all over the world. Yeah. And they need to go to bed. Yeah. <laughs> Fair. Summer in Australia just yes. getting like before just getting up and summer in Britain and they're like just before going to bed. Yeah. So I didn't want to throw off that schedule and it's kind of the first opportunity as well for us to do this because we got la uh, back late, uh, not late, but yesterday night. Yes. Um, so I didn't want to push that and I didn't want to do a regular show because it's a lot of work to put that together. So I thought, hey, how about an after dark? It's kind of relaxed. We don't have to rush things. We, we can, can take our time. Talk about all the stuff. Talk so. about all the stuff. And, and it's a game we've played before. Oh, thank you so much. Yay, thank you. Box, cardboard box. Cardboard box. For resubscribing. Um, and to Jedekaya who cheered 100 bits before the show started. Thank you, Thank Jedekaya. Thank you so much. <laughs> um, yeah, because we're playing a game we played before. We can just talk about things. Yes. We don't have to talk about the game as much. Yes. Of course, if I get a good score, of course, we'll talk about the game. Of course. Um, <laughs> so today I released the two-hour PRGE live compilation on mm. YouTube. Mm because we did it four separate streams over two days um, at PRGE and we did it live through Twitch and I said and I thought well when we get back I'll compile it all together in Squish one video for YouTube for those people who missed it on Twitch so it is now available on YouTube and I've fixed all the audio issues uh, some are quiet some were hissy some were all over the place I got rid of some of the the intros that are like 45 minutes long while we're preparing I'm trying to get things to work yeah <laughs> so it all compacts down to a two-hour compilation two hours of, yeah, is it I know, really that long? of actual broadcast wow okay i didn't realize we broadcasted yes yeah, so um it that is live on the zero page homebrew uh youtube channel mm. So you can see here, we talked to Dower Gunther, we went to Champ Games, we saw Steve Ramirez on there, John Shampo, Paul Shampo, David Page from Atari, Albert Yeruso we talked to, uh, we had some freeze-dried Skittles, <laughs> very yummy, we still have some of those. Yep. We talked to John Hancock, yep. we went to the Opco nice. booth, um, and we went to a 70s living room and ended it there. Um, so if you want to see that, it's on YouTube. Yep. Um, so there um what else uh let's let's open uh some mail because we've been away for okay. a bit okay it looks like there's a nice stack there. there's so. a very nice stack yeah, there yeah good stuff. uh first one's from jedekiah oh. and he said he didn't tell me what was in it okay um so well, it's a surprise it's a surprise and so i'm not going to show everyone immediately just in case it's something i shouldn't show on the stream I don't <laughs> know. he said it's fine to show on the stream yeah. but you you never know it's okay. I bought some of those at a candy store in my area. They are different. Yeah, the freeze-dried ca dry candy. I uh, like them. The Skittles were good. Skittles they were quite are very good. good. Jedekiah says crunchy. you're going to laugh when you see it. Oh, I'm not going to cry. <laughs> I'm not going to hide it from the stream and yeah. go, Ah! Uh, no, that is... Uh, we're not doing that kind of stream. Yep. <laughs> well, laughing is good. i got to make sure I don't show the address. It's below the... Below the camera level anyway okay so i'm gonna look at it first okay i think this is this is all fine <laughs> so, <laughs> so let's uh let's show it on the cat cam he knows what it is i don't know what it is oh but I, I know it's fine it's fine it's not weird. okay it's not weird stuff not weird stuff <laughs> it's not weird stuff uh so there we go so let's see what's in this i haven't actually looked at it yet Oh, it is Batman re meets the Rat Catcher cartridge. <gasps> Let's see if I can get that. Focus. It's very dark. Yeah, why is that? I don't know. You because... turn the lights off. <laughs> no, uh, it's because my arm is very bright. It's being lit. Oh, and that's if everything funny. else is something else is bright in the camera, it it, it uh, come on auto adjusts. There it's you go. Waking. Oh, you had it there. There's also cats moving in the background, cats just moving. to confuse the autofocus. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There we go. Okay. Very nice. Um, Very nice. I'm pretty sure this is a uh, a hack of something. Yeah. But I can't remember what the hack of it is. And we get the instruction manual as, as well. Oh, Batman funny. eats the rat catcher. Maybe uh, you can 
elaborate in the chat. The, yeah, Jedekai says, when we joked previously about buying Atari stock, this is one of the retired certificates and a copy of Batman that was made by Scott Dayton. It was a limited run that he sold at Free Play Florida a couple years ago. Oh, Very nice. Thank you. And I now nice. own stock in Atari. <laughs> well, old Atari. It's retired, <laughs> retired certificates. So I don't think it would actually. I, I don't cash know. this in for. No, me. unfortunately. That is an amazing present. Yeah, Thank that is you very, so much. very cool. I've actually looked at people posting these online, oh, and I'm really? like, those are. That's really cool. It is really to cool. Have retired. Like um, stock, stock certificate. Stock certificate. Wow! Thank you, Jedekiah. That is an unbelievable present. It, yeah, belongs to somebody else. Louis Carbone, Caroline Carbone. Uh, don't know who those people are. Record um, does it, say, it doesn't give dates of. Oh no, it does. Dated eighty nine. Wow. Yeah. So, uh, September twenty second, nineteen eighty nine. Wow. Fully paid in non-assessable shares of the common stock of Atari Corporation, 200 um, stock. 200 shares. Shares of the stock. Wow. Uh, I, I'll, that I'll have is to look so up cool. how much this was worth in 1989. In 1989. 200 shares of stock yeah. and what its peak was yeah. after that. Really interesting. Oh, that's really cool. Thank you. Thank you. The owner on the farm was the original owner. Very nice. Oh, that is so cool. What a great gift. Yeah, thank, thank you, you so Jenica. much. That is, that is an unbelievable gift. And um, do you know what game this is? Um, oh, it was issued through Atari Age. It was sold through Atari Age. It Batman looks like. or it was made by Scott Dayton. That's, that's... Batman. Yeah. Scott Dayton usually does um, hacks of hacks. things. So okay. I don't know what this is. I'll have that's to look cool. it up. It's a very nice cover, actually. It is says well we ain't having that are we boys there's no parole from the rat catcher parole okay that's out of context <laughs> thank you so much that was an amazing gift wow. i love it i love it that is so cool um let me put this over here and keep we'll looking see. in the box oh my rat God. included what oh, hidden hidden treasures is it is it in the oh, in the side? Other right? stuff. Oh my god. <gasps> oh, so cute. Uh -oh. It's a little white rat. Oh. I have had a white rat before. Yes, you have enjoyed having rats as yeah. pets. Rats are uh one of the best pets you can ever have. I know you've said they're very Other sweet. than they die after two years. <laughs> yeah. That that's is very the only sad. downfall of having a rat. Yeah. Other than that. They're affectionate. Yeah. They can do tricks. They're super smart. Yeah. Um, yeah, they're awesome, awesome pets. Good for a, a kid, I guess. Yeah. Um, yeah. Or a weird but, teenager. Or yeah. a weird teenager. Yeah. Oh, lots of weird that teenagers. is a present for Atari. Yeah, uh, I, I wouldn't be surprised if it gets picked up okay. and, and run Let's out see. the room with. I don't know. It's not soft. They do no. like them soft. Let's see what they I mean, a they Sprite was it. certainly... Um, Sprite was certainly interested. Sprite's looking at it. He's looking it up and down. He's sniffing it. He's batting it. <laughs> Is this a... He's chewing on his tail a little bit. Don't chew it off. Don't chew it do. off. He's licking it. Be good to the ratty. He's batting it again. <laughs> He's like, Is it toy? Is it food? Is it taste good? Uh... Don't... Yeah, you've had enough. No, no, I want to see if he runs off with it. <laughs> well, you'll be chasing after it. Okay. Um, Mark Anna says, I've had rats on two separate occasions. Lovely pets. As you say, the only downside is a short life. Oh, yeah. no, yeah, no, no. Don't try to take them. That's, no. <laughs> what, I, that's what I thought would We happen. won't have him destroy the rat. No. <laughs> Kill, says RC70. Oh. Aww. Aww. Yeah. Thank you so much for the present That's for Atari really cool. and Sprite. Yeah. They like it a bit too much. Yeah. <laughs> so let's open this one up. Next. This is from uh, Mike Chi. Oh. Um, for those of you who know who Mike Chi is, that is the person who made uh, the Retro Tank, who, is mm. making, who makes Retro Tank, mm. let's say, and who's making the 4K Retro Tank, the upcoming 4K, which I will be a sucker enough to buy. Because it's so awesome. Oh my god. Okay, let's switch over to this. Oh my god, kittens, we're making this difficult. <laughs> Retro tank sticker. Oh, very nice. 
and a small package. Oh, what is this? It is uh, the remote control for the Retro Tank 5X. Mm -hmm. So now I don't have to fumble as much with the other remote control, which is uh, a very, very basic remote control. There we go. So I'm not going to thank him because I had to pay for this. <laughs> <laughs> but he's a very nice guy. Um, when I had trouble with my uh, Retro Tank, nice. it had uh, frozen up on me yeah. and I couldn't, couldn't get it going. Um, he helped me through it oh, and, he, and he recovered it and got it going again. But he said if it didn't work, I could return it. What's the yeah. advantage of, ha of having the, the remote for the retro tank? Does it just makes it, make it easier to flip between settings? Or? Yeah, like all the settings are oh, on here. Wow. Like oh, wow. the other one has like four buttons. This has like 50. Okay. So you can directly access inputs. You can directly change uh, resolutions of That's outputs. That's pretty nice. Like all the inputs are up the top. Nice. Okay. There's number buttons. It's it's really good. Nice. Um, I don't know if it works with the 4K. It says 5X on it. I'm not sure. Hmm. I hope I hope it works for both. Okay. That'll be very very cool. nice if very it does. Cool. Um, yeah. The other one is a generic. Oh, very remote. very basic remote. Yes. Yeah. I, like I said, hardly any buttons. So. Oh, and the last package, last but not least. Oh. Who doesn't like having more remote controls? I've got a bin full of remote <laughs> controls. Uh, I don't really love having a ton of remote controls. I'd rather have one programmable one, yeah. but they've kind of gone away from programmable remotes. and It's gone the other way almost. That you can't like yeah. teach them, unfortunately, anymore. <gasps> oh, it's a hack of crackpots. Oh, okay. Nice. Very nice. Well, crackpots nice. is a good game, and I've been desperately trying to get my patch on it yeah um yeah it's an awesome game okay so this one mm -hmm. let's open this up on kittens can you can you move it's it's a pain leaning over that thank you so let's switch over to cat cam oh got some plastic to play with yeah got some paper here Got some sort of remote control. Ooh. There we go. For those who know what remote control that is, open that up. Or controller, you mean? Uh, controller, my mind's on remote. Control. Yep. And some accessories. Hey, I'm opening it up. I thought you were giving it to me to open up. Nope, nope. Ooh. And we've got something in here. I used to have the Logic Tech Harmony remote. <gasps> three of them. Yeah. That is the best remote ever. So we've got something here and it's big enough that I can open it up on the other, the other camera. Here it is. This is not my favorite console. It's way, way down the list. Okay. But there are some games that are very good on it. Mm -hmm. Um, and it was missing in my collection yeah. of, of consoles. So you're completing your console collection. Con yeah, yeah. Somewhat? Somewhat. 3DO? No, I have a 3DO mm -hmm. from the person, uh, the message above you. Yeah. In fact, <laughs> from its I got, got from it, it's Kev. Um, it is... Yeah. An N. Let's hold it up right there. N64. Crew neck line got it right. Um, and this is... Uh-oh. It's not very good sound. A little piece of plastic rolling around on the inside. That's not a good sound. Or a screw. Um, <laughs> Ooh. Yep. It is an N64. It is a clear one that isn't purple, orange, or green. Yeah. Or smoke. Or anything yeah. you've probably ever seen, actually. Yeah. Um, this is the rarest N64 that was sold in a retail store. Yes. Um, this is a, oh, I'll have to look it up quickly. Um, if you want to unwrap, yes. now, now you can yep. unwrap these. Yay, there presents from me. And I will look it up quickly, which N64 it is. Like the, the name of I it. Because I totally forget. It's, it was issued by a store. I have funny thing considering uh, Analog, yes, just announced their, uh, N64 um, new version of it. That is true. That is quite funny. I don't know if that'll uh, make things more expensive or less expensive. 
maybe it'll bring things to light. Let's see. It is the... Oh, my God. So much trouble. Come on. How many clicks do I have to click to get to it? Oh, my God. Stop it. <laughs> it is the Clear Gray Jusco Limited Edition N64. Jusco Limited Edition. See if I can find a website on that. And I think there was only, like... Um, a thousand, like three thousand of them made, um, I believe. There we go. There's something about it. That's that is not what I paid. Um, <laughs> let's switch over to that, just so Tandy doesn't freak out. <laughs> that is far from what I paid. Good. I got an extremely good deal on it. Limited edition, thirtieth anniversary, just go two tone charcoal NTSC J Nintendo sixty four. And this one has been modded for. Oh, nope, doesn't smell bad. Um, <laughs> modded for in, uh, for and North that, American. And that as kids well. is how you get COVID. <laughs> <laughs> Japanese COVID. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah. So um, there's nice. some there's some good first gen 3D games on this. Yeah. Like, um, a Mario 64 is Mario good. 64. Star Fox 64. Yeah. Um, and we bought a game for it as well. Mario Party. Mario Party. Mm -hmm. um, so that Golden we can test it. Yeah, GoldenEye as well. So there's there's a few titles that are good. And I'm gonna and when the Cricks sale goes on in um, Black Friday, mm -hmm. I will be buying the multi cart for the N64. Oh, cool. Excellent, excellent. Mario Kart, oh. yes. This is not a good nope, thumbstick. No, it's not a good thumbstick. I was I'm just going playing. to have to uh, investigate that, yeah. why it's so crunchy. Yes. Not crunchy, stiff. It's I think stiff. It's not bouncing. There's no spring left in it. Yeah, it feels like it could be fixed. Like, oh. Yeah, it springs one. Uh, it springs. It just needs to be played with a bit or something but it's very very good condition like the console's in immaculate condition yeah the controller's in immaculate condition and i believe this is a japanese 100 watt out or 100 volt hmm. yeah a uh, ac is 100 volt um but i got something at prg that will fix adapt fix yeah. the issue nice let's say. and we'll nice. get to that as well but it's nice and you don't see that white base on them usually. Usually you no, just get the smoke. It's a, a two-tone. So the, two -tone, top, the yeah. top looks like the smoke gray yes. version. Yes. And the bottom looks like nothing out there. It's well, just it's a just clear, clear white. Clear white. Yeah, yeah. Which is very cool. And, and yes, it does say uh, Nintendo on the top there. It is authentic and it has this as well, which shows it's authentic as well. Nice. I had to make sure that this was not like, oh my god, I'm getting a deal because it's, it's not, not real. real. Yeah. yeah. And okay. It works too, so so uh, I've opened all the stuff up. Now it's time to look at more stuff. More stuff. <laughs> all the things we got from PRGE. Oh, oh. oh I've managed, managed to get them all in one bag. That's amazing. So let's um, put this on the floor here mm -hmm. and pull them out. So we already revealed this. Got our T-shirts. Um, it is. We got some nice t-shirts. Uh, first from Champ Games booth. Yep, Turbo Arcade. He was selling uh, new Turbo Arcade shirts. Very nice. Very nice shirts. Very colorful. And I was love good job. the design of the car. Yeah. On this. Oh um, yeah. I believe it reflects um, the design of the title screen in the game. And uh, John popped in uh, early on in yes, the stream. Yes, I saw. <laughs> briefly. I don't know if he's still here or not. Yeah. But he was. He was here. Um, okay, uh, disclaimer, some of these things we bought, some of them were gifts. Yep. I'm not going to say what's what, but yep. um, some of them were gifts. Um, and thank you, and thank you to, to all everyone. the people who gave gifts. Yes. And this is my my copy of the Atari. Yep, Atari 2600 plus. 2600 plus shirt. Nice shirt, I like um, it. From the Atari slash Atari Age booth. Yes. Um, and this yeah, is what Tanya is picked up. It's going to wreck my hair. Okay. Yep. It's the ground con ground control, the uh, arcade. Yeah, I was gonna pick one up as well because winter's winter is coming. Yes. Um, but they didn't have the color I wanted. But well, they you wanted black, and they they didn't have any dark left. Or color, yeah. And they, and said, they had a lot of bright colors. They said come to the 
come to the arcade in a couple months. We'll restock. And it's like, wow. Well, well yeah, we're not. Okay, gonna I said, there. okay, sure. Eh. It's like, oh, we'll get it next time. Yeah. Um, but I thought it was a very nice. Yep. Toque. A beanie or two, depending <laughs> on what side of the border depends, you're on. Depends what country you're from. Yes. Um, Blast Corpse. I'll have to look at that one. Mm. Um, and we got this bag from PRGE. Yes, that's my bag. <laughs> it's Tanya's bag. Beautiful logo. Yeah, it's and it's really thick canvas, which is which is really nice for bags because sometimes they're quite thin, like if they're just shopping bags. But yeah, uh, this one's I just thick. quite like the and I love the the red, yellow, blue, and oh, what kind of controller? Nice mm -hmm. logo. Mm -hmm. What oh, nice controller course, is on the front? Yeah, it's a yeah. Twenty six hundred controller, of yeah. course, the OG. Very nice, very nice. Yes, beautiful bag. Also for me. And because I knew like that, I picked up that uh, N64 today from the post office. But because I knew it was coming, mm. anticipating that I wasn't going to be shipped bricks, um, <laughs> I picked up uh, some controllers. Yay! And I wanted some clear controllers to kind of match the clear aesthetic. Yeah. And I just really do like the kind of teal blue. So we got teal blue and purple. Yeah. And a gray. Is it gray or purple? No, they're gray. They're both. Oh, that's purple. Are they? Oh, they're gray, but they just look purple in this light, I think. I think they're both purple. It's hard to are tell. They both purple? I think they are. I thought we bought gray. Well, there you go. Well, two purples. It's because it kind of, this kind of looks purple sometimes, but sometimes. I think this... it's this light. I'm pretty sure they were gray when we bought I don't know. <laughs> Depends on the light. I'm fine with two purples or two grays, two smoke grays. Either way. No way they're purple. They're too light. I think they're gray. <laughs> I'll have to look online what Okay, now I feel crazy because like. they looked gray when we bought them. They also look gray in certain lights. Like that kind of looks gray now. But it also looks purple. Oh well. Anyway. Anyway. And we bought We got controllers. Mario Party. Yay, Mario Party. So we have something to play, play on the N sixty four, because I have no games for it. So we'll have to kind of make a stack and then reverse put it back in. Yeah. Um, and uh, of course we got some cute little things, stuffies, stuffies. and these are going to be prizes at our retro uh, game night. Retro game night. Goomba. Uh, Kev, you're invited because you're local. Kirby. <laughs> Babom. Babom. Super cute. Oh my god. So, but you have to play well to be able to pick one out. Yes. Um, let's go to this pile next. Don't let the cat see them. Oh, God. No. <laughs> That'd be the end for those. Yeah. Going to try. Awesome, Kev. Um, so their theme, because uh, PRG started on a f on Friday the 13th, uh, was Friday the 13th. Correct. <laughs> so that, yeah. was their, that was their theme for their T-shirts, uh, as well as the cover on their um, <sighs> brochure, I guess. And he's holding a NES controller. Very nice. Yep, yep. And uh, we, I might have to go to the other cam for some of these. Yeah, that's fine. So let's go to the so other cam. There's lots of stuff in here. Do you want to do big stuff first and then go to the small cam for the small stuff? Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do the small cam right now. Okay. Because uh, it's kind of a bunch of small stuff yeah. next. There's so much stuff. I know. There's <laughs> just... Uh, and the cats haven't even been fed yet. Oh, Whoa. they're so desperate. So... Uh, Oh, there's some patches that we got from Atari, um, Saboteur, and... It's treat time. Oh, that one's yum. beautiful. Oh, yum, 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 yum. Yours Revenge. Thank you, it's Kev. Thank you, it's Kev. The cats are going nuts. Um, let's start the the um, bedding so I can... Yes. While I show the rest of these off. And we'll make some space for uh, treating cats. Oh, treat... Nostalgic asks, how did the coasters you were working on fare at PRG? Pretty good, but I came home with a few. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to find other reasons to give away coasters. So the betting has started. So click on predict and pick which cat you think will, will get win. Who win. is more desperate for treats? Is it Atari? Oh, the yes. inquisitive, quiet, gray cat who can be pretty intense when he wants to? Or do you think it's Sprite, who has the youthful vigor yes. to go after those treats? Here's Vitoko, a... you just got to let us know where to send it to. Yeah, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll message you. Yeah. Uh, balloon Fight, uh, Pin. Oop. There you go. Balloon yep. Fight Pin. Yeah. An Atari Sticker. 
Yeah, we're going to be doing um, some contests coming up for some coasters yes, and things like I that. Yes, I think so. Yeah, yeah. A couple came home. So. Uh, and they, uh, uh, I think I could do big ones. I can go to the other camera for these. <laughs> I know. Switching back and forth. Oh, we will switch to the cats when, uh, so yeah. remember, predict points. How yep. is it going? How Pick is it going? Cats. Pick your cats. Uh, seven Atari, five for Sprite. Yep. I'm still a minute to go. So they put out old um, badges, badges. Just for free. Just for free. And these were from last year. Yeah. I love these. They're so colorful. And I think what I'm going to do with them is create a garland for a retro game night to hang up. Oh, yeah. To string them they're up because so they're so good. cute. Yeah. Yeah. So there's all the ghosts. And then they Well, not all the uh... ghosts. There's three ghosts and... Uh, they didn't have all of these. They Down didn't... to the last minute, get your bet in. And then the, from the year before, I think. Yes. It says the 14th annual. Yep. Um, Game Boys. Yes. Also super awesome. And then this year's. Which were also very cool. Which was very cool. Um, there were hockey masks. Yes. Uh, Jason masks and we got exhibitors because we helped set up and tear down the uh, Atari age booth Yep um, So that allowed us to go freely wherever we wanted mm -hmm. which was very nice uh, Val and this is the um, patch or the the badge for The Atari age booth and anybody that went there was able to ask Al for for one and Tanya lost hers. I did lose mine. <laughs> She's very naughty. I don't know what happened. I think it put, fell off when I got really excited playing in the arcade. Yeah, so, too yeah. excited. I don't know what happened to that one. Um, okay, it's time for cats. Yes. Before All right, get to the bedding save is their call. finished. Lots of stuff everywhere. Stuff. Got those. Okay, cats. Okay, are you guys ready? Are you ready? Can't close the door, but can you try and I close will. the door? Gotta get some treats in my hand. Okay. So, it has been... Just in time, Rider Ghost. Oh, to bat, good. Nope. <laughs> and they're both out. No cats win. Zero, zero. So let's reset the points to zero, zero. Come. Okay, cats. Nope. Get Spray. Come on. Get in, get in. There we go. Okay. Yes. Ready, cats? Yes. Okay. Ready? Okay. Atari. All right. Go. Okay. And go. Oh, ding, ding. Both get a point. <laughs> Woo. There we go. We're off to the races. Nice tie. Oh, Sprite gets another one immediately. Atari's oh my close goodness. behind. Here. It's under you. It's under you. <laughs> oh, Sprite gets another Sprite. point. They're Atari desperate. was a little confused. He lost this treat for a second. Atari, uh, Sprite gets another one. Oh, Atari catches oh, up a little bit. He just smacks it around. And he's taking it away. Because <laughs> Sprite's... Oh, that counts. Yeah, got a bunch of dings in. They oh. haven't had treats for a week and a half. There we go. Atari gets his fourth <laughs> ring. He's going to have to distract Sprite because Sprite is two ahead now. This is not looking good for Atari. But he's... Oh, no, that was Sprite again. Okay, here. And now Atari gets it as well. Still solidly two behind. Oh my god, he inhaled that. Eight to I five think he ate now it in for the air. Sprite. How did he do that? Yeah, he's caught it oh, in the air. This cat! What are you doing? He's kicking it all over the room. He's so excited. He's too excited. Yeah, come on. Oh, Sprite is distracted. He's going for the other bell, and that is legal to do that. Is now game point. <laughs> Nine to six. Uh, Atari is confused. He's lost his treat. And it's going to be game oh, over because... Oh, oh, not there's in another time. one. Not quite. Not in time. And a couple more for you to fight over. Oh, oh my goodness. Sprite got both of those. <laughs> oh, no. They are desperate, desperate cats. Well, that'll be good for their next round. Then. All right, kitties. Good cats. Good kitties. So Way to end, go, Sprite. Oh, five people bet on Atari and six people bet oh, on Sprite. Oh, Sprite by a mile, I know. Yep, Sprite <laughs> by a mile. He's, Next time. he's kind of Next the sure time. bet, but you can make big coin on uh, Atari. It, when on he Atari. does, yeah, yeah. So let's dole those out. Let's give them out. So who won? It was Sprite. There we go. Easy money. <laughs> Easy money. <laughs> okay, Good so kitties. Atari 800XL rules gets the most points. 
Uh, 10,000 total go split between all the winners. Wow. Depending on how much they bet. So congratulations to those good, who good job, went Atari for Sprite once Excel. again. <laughs> yeah. But there's people who bet on Atari. They're yeah. like, we, he can win this time. He's yep. going to win. Yep. Wrong card image. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I'll have to change that before we... Uh, get started before we get started let's actually do that right now because you're not only gonna play one game so that's right thank you vitoko yeah that's good it's good to put that in it was kind of a last minute thing the stream there we go let's change that thank Excellent. you for letting me know okay so let's go back to the main screen good kitties <laughs> <laughs> um we got um, an Atari sticker. Mm -hmm. um, we got, of course, I don't know how this slipped in, but Atari Age, <laughs> Atari yeah. age sticker. I, I can add it to my growing pile of them. Um, some Atari propaganda for the uh, <laughs> 2600 plus. Uh, the Berserk um, re Release, issue, yeah. reissue, updated reissue with voice, voice enhanced Berserk. Um, the Atari VCS, which our game is on now. ZPH, yeah. ZPH is now game. on. I, I I didn't have time to set it up, but okay. we'll do it. We'll do it some other time. All right, show it off but, some other time. But uh, yeah, ZPH, the game is now on the Atari VCS. Mm -hmm. If uh, you have that, so you can play that. Did it trigger again? Uh, nope, nope. Oh, nope. I don't think so. <laughs> it'll go away. I think that's that's the total. Oh, I see. It'll it'll go away. Um, and the Atari Club. There's mm. another... I think these are stickers. I don't know. There's something. Um, and here is a poster for... It's quite lovely. Yars Return. I guess that, um... Related to that, that, uh, uh, yeah, badge? A, Yars Return, not Yars Revenge. Yeah. There we go. Yars Very Return nice. is... You can go all around and the co-tile is in the center. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, yeah. So I showed those off. And the booklet for Atari Age's new releases. There's all the different covers. And uh, later on, Tanya's going to be putting together the boxes for these releases. Some of and them, then we'll, yeah. we'll show off the boxes quickly at the end of the show. Okay. Some of them. Because that's what I did all day on Friday. That's right. I built boxes with a Tanya number of other people. <laughs> and I stuffed the cartridge stuffed. and the manual yep. and uh, the posters into... The boxes that correct, she made. So correct. there's a little bit of DNA on every purchase. Yeah. From us. <laughs> a little bit of ZPH DNA. In That's there. right. Oh, and coming soon. Boom. Frantic. Frazzled. Mini game miner. Mini Ooh. game miner. What is that? <laughs> What's mini game miner? Mm. Uh, pas de deux. Uh, Shattered Earth. Space Taxi. Spies in the Night 2. Finally. <laughs> um, word guess. For the Jaguar, Nitrous, Jumping at Shadows, Nova Gen Volume, volume 2, Zeno Wings, very cool. Um, the AWA Anthology for the 5200 and 800. Uh, Atari 7800, Burning in the Tower of Doom, Cartesian Chaos, Drone Patrol, Ducks Away, we have something to show related to that, Plink, Rat Trap, and for the Intellivision, I, one of the first, if not the first Intellivision game from Atari Age. Yeah. Akla Beth. Very nice. That is Ultima before Ultima. Mm. Akla Beth. Um, and uh, from the Champ Games booth is their flyer. Mm. And it says, you can't do that on an Atari 2600. And we <laughs> interviewed uh, John from Hello, sir. from Champ Games. And uh, we talked about this. And I think he, he said, I don't know if it was on stream or not. He said he almost put a quote of mine on there. <laughs> I can't remember what the quote was. I, Something about impossible. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, I said, well, oh, you should have used um, uh, Champ Games makes the impossible possible. And he said, that's too marbly. Yeah. Marbles in your mouth kind of thing. Mm. Yeah. Um, yeah, and he shows off uh, 10 of the games on the back there. Yeah, very nice. And Turbo and Elevator Agent on the front. Mm -hmm. And uh, and the flyer from Atari Age, all the games that are available from them. And Lots the new of games. games as well. Available so and many all the games. prices. Oh my god. Unbelievable. The booth, the booth was ginormous. Double ginormous. the size of last Hi. year. Hi. So much room. It was very awesome. 
Assembling box, homebrew box games. I'm surprised there's not a game based on that. Ooh, Inception. <laughs> Somebody's got to make it. Yeah. Yeah, making homebrew games in a homebrew game. Correct. And um, these were given to me at the Champ Games uh, booth. Oh, yes, yes. Um, very beautiful um, artwork of all the Champ Games. Yeah, all the boxes. Fit for framing. Correct. From Nathan Strum, he gave the, these to me because he does all the artwork. Oh, they're for... gorgeous. <laughs> Nathan does a beautiful job. Oh, Nathan does an awesome job on these this artwork. Um, not all of it's by Nathan, but that one's not by Nathan. <laughs> the kicks? That one's not by Nathan. No. But uh, he does a lot of these. A ladybug. Very nice. Robot War. Not by Nathan. Uh, <laughs> zookeeper by Nathan. Galagon, Wizard of War, Mappy, Cobra, Super Cobra Arcade, and Scramble. So unassembled boxes. Yeah, just beautiful, beautiful artwork on those. So thank you so much uh, to John and Nathan Strum. And Nathan Strum was there. Yes. First time I've ever seen him like <laughs> Nathan Strum I've never in even person? seen a picture of in him in the flesh yeah uh he, if you look closely he's he's in the background of some of the video yeah. on the live PRG stuff yeah. um but I also got a photo of him nice back yes. to back with John yes. oh my god it was it's excellent. such an awesome yes. photo look on social media for the photos I'm going to post some more photos tomorrow yeah uh, of some of the leftover photos that aren't really in any um, category. In any kind of category, because yeah. we took photos with everybody that uh, we met there. Yeah, we ran into. and Lots yeah. of people. Yeah, 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 it was a lot of fun. So let's continue on. More stuff. With more stuff. Uh, That's my stuff. You can pull that. Yep. You can show off. There so again, for our retro game night, we like to have pre prizes. So we found these lovely little... Um, Actually, it's a good time. Actually, shot glasses. Just before we do that. Okay. Um... We won't do an uh, uh, unboxing of these yet, because we'll save that for another date when we have John on, uh, for when these go in the uh, Champ Game store. But these are, here it is, oh, if I had it the right way up, uh, Elevator Agent and Turbo Arcade Boxes. Not boxes, the games, because they were on sale there at PRGE, and they'll go into the Champ Game store in the next couple months. Yes. I think he said December? Excellent-ish, yeah. So there you go. They had them on display yes. um, for people to play along with all their other games as well. Yeah. So you bought some shot glasses. They're just little, they're, yeah, as presents, little shot glasses. There oh, is a... Switch over. They're hard to see. Mario Star. It is, unfortunately. Mario Star. And they're colored in the bottom. Mm-hmm. So when they've you got put a, lights they've on got the a bottom, bit of color. they light up. There's a Mario Star. Yeah. And the question mark... Yellow. Mm -hmm. And the piranha plant. Since we're on a Nintendo theme this year. So. Yeah, we're, we're celebrating the 40th anniversary of the Famicom release. Yes. Release of the Famicom. So that's kind of the theme. So we're going just general Nintendo theme stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay. Next things. Uh, I might as well jump to these. I was on the lookout for uh, light guns because we played uh, Ducks Away on the show and we had a, a full light gun episode a couple episodes ago, um, two episodes ago, and we only had two light guns. And yes. only one of them was operational because I it was the official Atari light gun mm -hmm. and I need to make adapters um, for these. For so those. I got additional two more. So now we have four light guns. Four light gun, duck, duck attack. Yeah, duck ducks attack. away. Ducks, ducks away. Ducks away. Ducks away. I think. Um, so I have to make three adapters, but mm -hmm. I've got the parts for them. Mm. And it's very, very simple. Even I can do it. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, so we'll have uh, flickery, flickery, four player, ducks away. We'll all be having seizures. On the Atari 7800. <laughs> and it'll probably be the first time anybody's play has played four light gun version of Ducks Away. Uh, it's going to be... Because even in the Atari Age booth, he only had two. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> These are hard to find. Like, oh, 
It took the whole the whole convention to find two. I was asking, and people are like, "Those are hard to find. Good luck." Yeah. Um, there was only one other, and it was in the box. And I didn't. I don't like boxes because yeah, it, it took up so much room. And and it was expensive. Too, it was. It was, it was in the like box, so six times the price of these. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So I bought these, and they were very very good price. Like yeah. I got a steal yeah. of a deal on mm -hmm. these, so hopefully they work. Hopefully they do. <laughs> <laughs> if not, they're not very complicated, so I could probably fix them. Uh, when we um, talked to John Hancock, he yeah. gave us a thumb drive with all of his games I on know, them. I know. That's was so, so awesome. That's nice. so nice. You can see it on the video Yeah. Uh, when he gave me these games. And yep. Yeah, it was nice. He uh, talked to us on on, on, on the stream, and yeah. I mean, we've, we met at many times before we have and yeah met him at uh, vancouver retro he gaming comes to the expo. vancouver gaming expo too so yeah that's really awesome really nice of him, of him to, to give do that. this to yeah. us thank you so much john um next up we'll do some small things next let's see <laughs> lots of stuff i know that's why i want to do it this episode and not during doom oh yes um, and people will be very episode. focused on doom yes yes i'll be like get to the doom yeah they should work, just might not be accurate. Well, that comes with the territory. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Where did we get this? Did we get, got given this? Hyperkin Academy Gaming Club. I don't remember getting this. Was this just in the bag? No idea. I don't know. Huh. One of those free things. Interesting. <laughs> um, oh, here's Yar's return pin. Yeah, that's a nice pin. Really I think you have to pull the plastic straight because it kind of obscures it or take it out even. Yeah, it's really nice, so I should take it out. Yeah. If I can. Oh my god. <laughs> Why don't they make one side longer than the other? I don't know. I can actually get into these. Oh, that cat. Oh. Close up. There we go. I have to hold it properly. It's a two yeah. pin badge. It's a very lovely pin. There we go. Yeah, that's very, very nice. Yars return, very nice patch. Yeah. I'll be able to put that back in. Mm -hmm. And continuing with our Famicom theme game night coming up, we've got some pins to give away. Yep. There's Mario um, flipping you off. <laughs> um, backwards. And it's yeah. Zelda, and it's glow in the dark. And there's Link holding up the triangle the tri of doom. The Triforce, or whatever it is. Yeah. Uh, John Hancock gave me a pin. Thank yeah. you, John, again. Immortal John Hancock. And Aqua Venture. Did it talk much to the Atari guys? Yes. Yeah, we talked. I talked uh, quite a bit with the Atari guys, or with David anyway. Didn't talk much with the other Atari guys. Uh, Cat. <laughs> what is going on? Hey, 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 hey. There's no presents for you. And the cats get a bag. Exactly. It's not empty yet, kittens. He's he's fully in the bag now. Oh, my God. He's fully in the bag. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, we got to get some other stuff. Kittens. Kittens. <laughs> <laughs> Something funny. Uh... Oh yeah, these are lovely. You want to take, take, yeah, I'll take, take one, one out. out? Or you can take both of them out. They yeah. don't need to stay in the bag. So um, plastic. Yeah. They're very happy. Get a these hat. These are brand new hats that Atari Age is selling. You want to put it on? <laughs> yeah, sure. Um, so they have the Atari Age logo on the front of them. And they really have nice. the name of Atari Age on the back of them. Needs to be adjusted. Yeah, that's See? fine. Very nice. Very nice. And Canvas hats. The, they're not show off the back of them. It, but is there, oh, does it have something on the back? It has a tar age on the back. Does it? There. Can you see it? Down. A little bit. Down. This way? Just kneel down. Down, down. There. There we go. Tar age. Yay. Excellent. Very nice hat. It's really nice hat. Yeah. I'm, I'm so I, smack. I don't know if those <laughs> will be on the store or not, um, but hopefully they will be because they're really cool. Yeah. Um, and last but not least, well, there's two more things. Um, so I was on the lookout for, I mean, they're everywhere, um, N64 power adapter. Mm -hmm. Luckily, they're detachable. They were smart about this. Um, for North America. So I was, I'm able to use that Japanese console in North America um, right away. I'm, 
I liked I liked that when you were at the booth and you asked, oh, how much is this? He's like, I didn't think anyone would want that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he said five. <laughs> yeah. He's like, and I'm like, oh, you want sure. that? Okay. <laughs> yeah, because they're just yeah, like... You never know what people want, so... Yeah. And last but not least, this I think cool. it's an Atari ST trackball, which works nice. on the Atari Jaguar. Excellent. For games that support mice. Oh, excellent. Um, and there's a number of games. I'll have to look into that. So yeah. I am prepared in case there is a mouse-based game Yes. Um, for the Jaguar. I can play it. Mm -hmm. There we go. And I think that's... Oh, cat. Okay. You can go in the bag, because I know you really want to. Is that it? Yeah, there you go. Find your way in there. You can amuse the people on the cat cam. And I'll move all this stuff over, and then we can <laughs> get to the game. Oh my god, so much stuff. So much stuff. It was a lot of fun, and we'll get into the stories while we play... Mm -hmm. Gorf! Gorf Arcade! Yay. So let's get to Gorf Arcade. Okay. Oh, he's not getting in the bag? No, no he he's, sniffed. He's sitting he on paper there's now. He said there's not actually anything in the bag. So oh, he said, I'm not interested I anymore. I see. Yeah. I see how it works. Yeah. Okay. Well, there's, there was no actual, like, electronics so I, for him to ruin. So. As soon as I take away the bag, he'll be interested yeah, in the book. Absolutely. He's sitting in a pile of packing Ooh, material I right now in the hallway, so... Oh. Yeah. Already. Long, so live Long live Gorf! Long live Gorf! There we go. So it's time for gaming, finally. Only an hour in. That's no bad. Yeah, cats like to subvert expectations. They do. Yeah. You want them Definitely. to do something, they won't do something. Yeah, exactly. Oh! Is that the right joystick? Yes. Okay, so you probably want to do the... Actually, before we start, I'm going to show the badges that I have earned. Mm -hmm. So I have earned Space Warrior Badge. Look at that. Ooh, so and pretty. And the Space Avenger Badge. Ooh, so pretty. So I'm going for the third patch tonight, which I John says I cannot show you until I have earned it. Well, you need to earn it. You shouldn't even have it, technically. So No, but, you know, I was there. Um, <laughs> so I have to get to mission thir reach mission 36 okay. on the advanced uh, difficulty skill level. Okay. So I've, I've done 26 on the standard and 21 on the novice. So you should play novice first. Okay. I think you're still in the cat there. Yeah. So, okay. Uh, so how do I adjust it? Is it adjusted on the um, machine? There. Press the button. Oh! It's the up-down. Okay. Novice. Novice. So you're trying to get to mission 21. No, we don't have any audio because it's not on the right thing. Let's fix that. I've forgotten how to play this. <laughs> no. And turn it down because it's entirely too loud. Shoot the things! Don't be shot! That's about this game. <laughs> Avoid the things! <laughs> you did it! Yay! Laser attack! RC-70C, I, I forgot there were badges for this. I, but I have it, but I haven't played it much. Uh... You should play it, and you should try for the patch. It's it's there waiting for you. Uh, John has a ton of patches ready to give to people who have achieved these scores. Was the, a lot of alcohol consumed? Not a lot. I wouldn't say a lot. I wouldn't say no. I would say zero. <laughs> Somewhere between zero and a lot of alcohol was consumed. I would say that. Ah. Oh. I was driving most of the time, so. Yeah. I didn't consume much alcohol. Tiny bit. Alcohol I don't really like. Ah, no! Ah, you can't, I always forget you can't hide in the corners in this game. Mm -mm. There is no hiding in this game. Um, yeah, the first patch is very achievable in this. Um, you just have <laughs> to be... Although I still haven't gotten it. 
just have to, you know, practice a little bit. Put in some time. You'll get it. Um, if you're good at shooters, I think it's very, very achievable. Um, I got it fairly, fairly simple. And then I got the second one on the last time we played this in After Dark. So you already did mission four. Oh my gosh, I'm so bad at this level though. This level is the hardest. I find this level, this is the hardest level for ah. sure. Um, so we went to a lot of uh, great restaurants while oh, we were in course. Portland. Always. Um, Portland has so many great restaurants. Oh my god. So we made it our mission. We have a map of our, our restaurants that we want to go to. Got a cat necklace. I do. It's so cute. Um, and we we uh, went to a bunch that we have never been to before. Mm -hmm. We went to a couple that we have been to before. Um, and we went to one that Bruce uh, Bruce Robert um, recommended. <laughs> And that was delicious. It was um, dim sum. It was so oh, yeah. good. Absolutely yummy. And they had this these little rabbit bow. Rabbit bow buns? Yeah. Rabbit bows? I don't know what they called them. Bow buns, yeah. Bow buns, but they're shaped in the form of a rabbit. Oh, right into it. I would stay low on this one. Yeah. Because you won't have time to react. Um, did you go upstairs and get the things? No. There's more people tromping around stealing our packages. I would call them our neighbors, but yes, if you are concerned they might be people stealing our packages, then that's that's valid. Come on. I can't get it. I think he's selling something on Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace. Oh, is he? They're just standing in the doorway. Oh. <laughs> They're selling our packages on Craigslist. Oh, that's their plan. How was ground control? Excellent. Uh, it was really good. It's Always so a good time. well decorated there. Oh, yeah. Um, and last year, th the area was a bit rough, let's say, outside the place. It this wasn't as bad this year. It was great. <laughs> no problems whatsoever. Yep. Like, there were people just running around in the street and living across from ground control. Oh, there was a lot of homelessness right in front of it last year. This yeah. year, that was at least gone. It's all gone. Wow. Yeah. Doesn't mean the city's better, but it just wasn't there no. it was in that exact spot. Um, we call them porch pirates here. <laughs> yeah, they might uh, grab a little bonus as they leave. I hope not. I don't. Think so. no. uh, yeah, we haven't had any problems here. Nope. I think they're they're running gone. around. Go on. I'll wait till they tromp down the stairs, but. They're coming to get you. Remember to shoot the ones on the side so they go down slower. Why are they going down so fast? Stop it! Because you're dead and shot the stuff I on know. the sides. You're going oh, to die. Oh, I'm dead. No! It laughs at you. <laughs> you're distracting me too much. <laughs> Mission two. Did you start over? No. No. I just lost a life, but I moved on. Mission two. Oh my goodness. Now I'm just distracted. <laughs> You That's okay. It's your first game. Um, it moved to the next level. So it must have... I destroyed a life, but I moved to the next level. I didn't redo... Oh, okay. I didn't redo that level, like, with the... Oh, okay. Space Invaders. Oh, okay. It just moved on. Oh, that's why. It just that's moved right. on. That's what I mean. Yeah. 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 Okay. Try again. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you try again. I think they're gone. I'll go get back. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to get Gorf. Ah! No? 
Maybe they didn't. Maybe it didn't get uh, delivered. Maybe not. Maybe not. It says it was. Does it? Yeah. Maybe they delivered it inside the front. No picture. Hmm. Oh well. Deal with that later. Maybe the porch pirates got to it. I'll have to buy them back on. Uh, Buy it back on uh, Facebook Marketplace. Oh, yeah, we're piecing together our, our Halloween costumes. We won't say what it is, because you'll have to tune in to October 31st. It happens to be on a broadcast day, so we'll be all dressed up. Yeah, playing our Halloween games. Yeah, playing our Halloween games. We have figured it out. We've found the big pieces, but we have to put together some of the... Wait for delivery on some of them. That was part of it. That was... Supposedly delivered, but nothing's there. There's no picture though, which makes me suspicious. Oh, go the opposite direction. I know, I'm terrible. <laughs> Whew. So, um, we mostly hung around the Atari Age booth and the Champ Games booth, obviously. So, let's uh, take it day by day. So, we drove down to. Drove down to Portland um, from Vancouver on the Wednesday. Go the opposite direction. Opposite. There we go. Um, on Wednesday, was it? Yeah, I think it was Wednesday. Tiny talk. Yeah. <laughs> this is Too the Too much thing. concentration. I'm trying to kill the Stay things. Stay low on this one. Low. Oh, it's, it doesn't I know. help I, you I, being high. I don't do it purposefully. I just end up naturally moving forward. Um, and it's only six hours, six hour drive. So six to eight. I mean, it really does depend. You keep saying six, but it really does depend on the. It depends on traffic in Seattle, but when I punched it in. Oh, it says six hours when you punch it, said it in. It's five and a half hours from the hotel we we're staying at to Vancouver. Um, but. It, the the factors are traffic in Seattle and the border, but we have fast pass at the border. Yeah, which is <laughs> um, helpful. Which helps a lot. Stay down low. Give some more time. Um. So we we usually stop off at a donut place on the way down. Very we did. specific donut place. Tanya was saying I couldn't. No, I didn't say you couldn't. <laughs> Said no donuts for you. I just didn't want to... Um, run into traffic. Run into Seattle. traffic, that's all. No, she's mean. She's I, I, I'm like, no, you're not allowed any donuts at any <laughs> any point in time. That's right. No, we had no. donuts. We uh, it's Mighty O Donuts. They have like a bunch of locations yeah. in Seattle. Very, very, very good donuts. Very delicious donuts. They have lots of... Um, Fall inspired. Oh, come on. There's no way that didn't course, hit the eye. Of course, they had yeah, pumpkin spice donuts. Oh, they had pumpkin spice. They had this beautiful one when we left. That was a stuffed pumpkin cream donut. Pumpkin spice cream donut. On the way back? Oh, no, on the way over. Oh, I, I didn't got get a, it. Did you? I did. Did I bite it? Yes, I, you no, did. I don't remember eating yes, cream. Yes, you did. It was delicious. I Absolutely cream delicious. Filled. Oh. oh, so good. Yeah. I'm not big on like jam filled donuts, but no. cream filled donuts. Yes. Lightly. Like filled. custard. Custard, like a Boston cream. As long as it's not too overwhelming. Yeah. Because um, then it's like, oh my God, I'm just eating cream, eating sugar. Um, yeah, so we stopped there. Because we always stop there. It's kind of a halfway point where you can kind of stretch your legs a bit. And usually that's where we switch driving. Yes, um, at the it's, donut shop. Because it's halfway, <laughs> and we can switch. It works and we can out stretch very our legs. well. It does work out very well. And um, so we got there, you know, Wednesday night, Wednesday afternoon slash night, and um, then we didn't do much. Just I think we did. We go out to eat. Yeah. Uh, we did because um, we got there just around eight, so it was just ah at the right time. Cat, cat, cat. Cat on my lap. <laughs> Cat on my lap. You're gonna have to play um, cat police when I'm playing. <laughs> I will. He likes to get on my lap just as I'm at the pinnacle of greatness. <laughs> um, 
and then um, Thursday we just went around to you know walked around. It was yeah, very which was very fun. nice weather. Yeah. Um, for for almost the whole time we were there. The day we're leaving, it was rivers in the street. Oh my goodness! It was cr no um, the day before we left because we went up oh. to um, on um, volcano. Yeah. Oh gosh. Uh, Bro Bruce Roberts' um, recommendation. We went up to oh I've forgotten the name. Tabor. Tabor, Mount Tabor. Mount Tabor, and it was uh, very nice for view. a nice walk around. And just as we left, okay. uh, uh. just as we left, just. Absolute downpour of water, rivers in the street, like yeah. unbelievable. <laughs> Is the um, oh. stay, low. stay low? No, I was dodging. <laughs> um, I guess the um, sewers, the, the grates hadn't been cleared very well, yeah, because That's... it was just backing up, or not just not even backing up, it was just rivers going past them. So that was uh, that was interesting driving through that. Oh, Kids, calm, crazy. calm yourself. Just calm down. Calm down. Stop licking. Um, and it, the the rain continued like all the way home, pretty much, off and on. So it's still pouring here in Vancouver. I think it, I think it, what they had down there moved up here yeah. today. It's crazy. You cannot escape the uh, Monday. Yeah, it was Monday. So was it bad here as well, Kev, on Monday? Because it was insane. Oh, that was so close. I know. It was so close. One pixel off. Oh, what are you doing? No. You're sitting there. I was trying to... Uh -oh. Comes down fast. Ah. The drive home was nuts. Oh, well, the okay. drive this morning was nuts, too. Oh, my God. It's almost coming off. I know. I like to, I like to explore it as I go. Okay. So I have to play advanced. Okay. And I have to get to... Uh, mission 36. Hmm. Good luck. Mission 36? Yeah. Wow. How many did I have to get to? 21. 21. <laughs> on novice. On the easy level. On the easy level. This one starts off on the harder level. Kev says it was okay in Surrey this morning around 5.30. Okay. I it's drove bad, on bad the today. highway and it was around 8.30, I guess. There was debris all over the road. It was pouring with rain, but it was like multiple trucks at various parts of the highway had lost their loads. Oh my god. And there there were trucks like blocking traffic, taking stuff off the roads. And it was it was crazy this I don't know why it was so bad. But it was. It was very bad this morning. Just so much water. It was raining quite a bit. So continue talking. Oh my god. What a terrible start. <laughs> Uh, See, continue talking about restaurants. And restaurants. Places. Yes. So. So where do we we'll do go? Th we'll do it by theme. By theme. Uh, what wonderful places did we go? Uh, we went to Mirasada, which was a Sri Lankan restaurant, um, which is a very casual place. You order and then you sit outside and eat it. Um, yeah. We so went on the service. first night. Fantastic food. Just really, really nice. If you like curries and that kind of thing, they're a vegetarian restaurant. Um, but yeah, the food is really interesting. Um, you don't eat Sri Lankan food. You don't find no. it too, too often. So, uh, really enjoyed that. Uh, what else did we eat? Um, we ate, we at ate that. at the, um, pink bunny? white rabbit, white rabbit, white rabbit, white rabbit, white rabbit. Yeah, it wasn't pink bunny, pink bunny. <laughs> white rabbit, which was, um, uh, the dim sum. Again, vegetarian, very good. Bao buns that were shaped like little bunnies, uh, delicious. Everything was delicious there too. Uh, yeah, the bunny bunny bows were definitely the highlight. Yes. Um, huh. One night we ate at Burgerville, which yep. is a chain that I wasn't too aware of. I guess it's only in Washington and Portland. <laughs> oh my God, I'm playing terrible. And they're very much a fast food restaurant, but they do have a fully vegetarian burger, which was actually pretty good. So, yep, um, it was fine. It was burger. It yep. was a fast food burger. So. And then we had a wonderful um, slice of pizza from Sizzle Pie oh, with yes. some people at PRG who were hanging around. Yeah. Um, oh, we went. 
to place across the street. And what do we have? There were slim pickings there, but... Oh, uh, Spirit 77? Yeah, what did we have there? Oh, just nachos and salad and stuff. Yeah. That was for lunch one day. Um, that was a practice round. I did terrible. And I died. Rage reset? Um, Not yet. Gotta practice. Gotta get some practice in. Yeah. Uh, what else? What else? We ate a lot we of good breakfast. food. breakfast. Oh, most mornings. So most of the mornings. Oh, yes, that's right. We had breakfast in our hotel. Yep. Um, and they had a veggie breakfast sandwich. That was absolutely delicious. Um, we were quite surprised to see it because you don't see veggie breakfast sandwiches too, too often. No, Even Starbucks doesn't really have a fully uh, plant-based one. No. Um, so that was quite good. Uh, where else did we eat? Um, it blurs together, doesn't it? It does a little bit. Um, you're right to berate me. <laughs> uh, in the Belmont area, a place called the Sweet Hereafter, which is a tavern with a vegetarian menu as well. That oh, was yep. very good. That was very good. Yeah. And a bakery called Sweet Pea Bakery, which was also very, very good. Had a delicious uh, BLT there, so. Uh, so. No. Uh, no. You didn't like it there? Two out of, two, three out of five. Three out of five? Yeah. yeah. Controversial. I'm not impressed with their cookie or their really? BLT. I no. like I liked the cookie I had. It was fine. Well, you it heard it from cookie. him first. I quite enjoyed what I what we had, so that's fine. And the bacon is not far from my favorite it, it, bacon. But it's still good bacon. A lot of people like that. The bread bacon. was fine. The, the tomato was, was fine. <laughs> it is just a BLT after all. The bacon was not fine. Anyway, <laughs> I liked it. I thought it was good. I had really no complaints of any of the places we went to. I thought all the food was pretty decent. So. Uh, I think that was the worst place. I, I didn't think that was the worst. Idea. Really? No. Okay. But... Yeah. Sweet her after you had mac and cheese. That looked oh, pretty good. Oh, that was pretty good. I had jerk, uh, four out of jerk five. tofu bowl. Yeah, four out of five for me, too. It yeah. was pretty good. Very nice drinks. Very good selection of drinks. aggressively. Also, ground control. Um, probably had the cheapest drinks in most of the places. You go to restaurants, it's always more expensive anyway, but I don't know. I'm just used to ridiculously expensive prices for drinks now, so <laughs> yeah, they actually seem decent. So, uh, what's next? We should talk about the expo in general. In uh, general, it was it, huge this year. Oh my god! Like the 50, 75 percent bigger. The area, vendor area was like double almost size. double. Yep. Um, they they laid out the arcade in a nice way because it's it's so all just better. been in aisles before, and now they kind of had little alcoves where they Groups. had groupings yep. of arcade Three, machines Perry, and Perry, pinball Perry, in different Perry, areas. Perry, I thought they did a really good job really of the layout. Yeah. Um, they still had auditoriums with the speakers that really wasn't yep. any different than previous years nope. they had a in the um video game museum they had jaguar and an art section it was john hancock's yes. collection of jaguar, jaguar and lynx games yes and lynx um and and the art of um uh nintendo the nintendo uh magazine yes people are gonna kill me um What's it called? Anyways, the Nintendo magazine. Nintendo Power. The Nintendo Power Propaganda yeah. magazine. Uh, beautiful art, though. Hand-drawn art. Like, oh, basically what like was the ended original up in art. The, the original art. Very, very good. And Nintendo they, Power. Yeah. Nintendo Power. And they had cats. Oh, my God. They had jaguars in there. They called them mini jaguars. They had two tents of 12-week-old kittens that they were trying to adopt out. Oh and they clearly did adopt some between Saturday and oh, Sunday because yeah. there were fewer on Sunday. They were um, cutest thing. I could not spend too long in that room or we would have come home with more cats. So they were freaking adorable. And for donation, you could go in there and basically hang out in a tent with like six kittens. Yeah, it was like a $5 donation. For oh my goodness. And they were Dangerous. so cute. Dangerous. 
We also saw some adorable. window cats one day when we were walking. Oh yeah. Those were even more adorable. Yeah, it was there was another place across the street that had adoptable cats, kittens. Too many adoptable kittens out there in the world. Sorry. I swear in Vancouver you look for a kitten you can't find one. No. They're many. adopted way too quickly here. Yeah, they are. <laughs> Apparently you have to go to Portland. <laughs> no! Pathetic. Um, it's the hardest level. But they were so cute. Did it you was... take photos? Did I take I photos? Did. Yeah, we took photos. I haven't photos. posted them yet. I'll we'll post those. To. Is there still a cat cafe in Vancouver? As far as yes. I know, yep. I haven't been there in a while, but as far as I know, there's still one at, um, uh, what is it? Tinseltown. Tinseltown mall 88. Mall. mall 88, yeah. A mall that opens. Kittens. Kittens. Your tail's slick. Oh, no. Oh, it no. makes me slip oh, on the joystick. No. We looked for a cat cafe in Portland, but it closed down. It's in yeah. for the second time. Yeah, we couldn't find or a cat, cat cafe, cafe there. But we found lots of adoptable cats you anyway. So you guys are lucky you almost got a brother or sister. Oh. Atari would have just shrugged and He's went, like, oh, another again. one. This guy would have lost his mind. It's like, play, play, yeah. play. Oh my God, play, play. I'd love to get him a kitten who would tire him out, eh? Yeah. Revenge. Yes. Revenge for Atari. Revenge is a dish. Oh my god! And with lots of cats. <laughs> with lots of cats. Yeah. Yeah, he's a funny kid. Um, yeah, very adorable. Good job! Woo! Thank you. Um, the arcade game selection, mm, 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 not great for my taste. There's lots of games. Pinball was great. Lots of pinball. But early pinball 80s amazing. games, mm, slim. They had some, but um, they didn't have Satan's Hollow. And nope. That's an immediate disappointment. No Gyrus, no Satan's Hollow. No Bosconian? Did you see Bosconian? Uh, nope. No Bosconian. There were two Gorfs. Gorf Arcades. Yep, there's two Gorf Arcades. Uh, there was Miss so Pac-Man and Pac-Man. It was a slow Miss Pac-Man. I looked. Slow Miss Pac-Man. And not um, sped up Miss Pac-Man. Oh, I like words. sped up Miss Pac-Man. That's always fun. Everybody loves that. Um. Yep. Oh. Good job. Thank you. Um. Lots of games. We watched. Oh my god. The World Series of Tetris finale. Yes. It started like 20 minutes before the hall closed. Yeah. So they were freaking out. All the staff. It's like, get out of here. You gotta go. And, and, like, and, and no one's moving. There's 500 we're people. We're in the middle of Tetris. watching like Tetris, right? It was kind of funny. And one guy's um, like, I'll, 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 oh I'll tell everyone else. Yeah. And he was like no. joking with them. No one, was, no one was gonna leave. So what level did I get to? It's pathetic. Next time, try on the weird game, space captain. I know. Yeah. Uh, keep going. Keep going. You got to twenty-seven there. On an easier. No, that was advanced. Um. It nope. said advanced. No. No? Those are compiled. Oh, altogether. are they? Yeah. Uh, I believe sadness. so. Um, uh, it was fantastic. It went to five games. Yeah. Uh, one uh, so competitor be... basically won the first two, and then the other one came back with the last three. Yeah. And it was just, it's so phenomenal to see, like, yeah. expert Tetris players play Tetris. I can't even watch what's going on fast enough to understand. And I, they are placing them so quickly. I think if I played for 10 years, I don't think I'd have the reaction time no. that, these, that these players have. It's just absolutely amazing. They're so low in the sky. Ah. Like they fall behind, but then they catch back up. And yeah, they just know exactly it was fantastic. what to do and when to do it. Yeah. Um, and there were other tournaments. I don't think we really saw a lot of the other tournaments. No, we went to two talks. A couple talk of talks. We, we went to two talks, both with uh, Gary Kitchen. Yes. <laughs> Just happened to be, because they're both about 2,600. One, one uh, John Champo was talking um, on a panel with Gary Kitchen, um, and it was moderated by Tim Lapatino. Yes, um, both of them were, actually. Yeah, both of them were. <laughs> Tim Lapatino. Um, whose book I have above there. Yes. Heart, Heart of Atari. I yes. Think he, uh, did. Yep. Um, yeah, they're great, interesting talks. They were talking Both about things they've, I've never heard them talk about, which is great. So Tim did a great job of not, like, repeating um, things that these people have talked about ad nauseum. Ah! 
Don't do it. Don't. Oh, you bastard. This level is notorious for putting you on the screen as it comes in, in a it. very bad position. Yeah. Were they using the crazy under controller finger rolls? Yes, they oh, were. Yeah. Yeah. They uh, even, certainly one of them was. I, I don't know if both, both of them were. Both yeah. of them. Because they put on the screen what technique they were using. Uh, the rolling technique. Rolling yeah. technique. And they go brr, brr, brr. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure all the experts use that because it's so fast. Yeah. It is just, just shocking how fast those games run. It's amazing. Amazing. Yeah. It, it's really fun to watch because everybody's into it and there's a back and forth of like who's winning and, and, there's, and there's a build up and then they rescue themselves with five, three Tetrises in a row and it's like, oh my god. Yeah. And they have all these gaps and somehow they. They fill them. They fill them in like three moves and I'm like, how did you. How did you do that? How did you know to put that there? I What I find really interesting is when they get... They're not getting the piece they want and they get awkward pieces. Yeah. They know exactly... How to just get instinctively where to put the piece and what piece is coming next and how they can clear it really quickly. Um, and they do things, you go, what? why did you put that there? And then like two, two more pieces, you're like, oh, okay. Yeah. That's why. <laughs> yeah. It's like, you cleared two lines at once. So you got rid of that awkward piece. Uh, that I find really fascinating. Oh, like there's yeah. there's got to be like just a whole list. Oh, 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 oh no, a whole list of potential moves. Do you know what I mean? Like if you need if you have this piece, you clear it by yeah. putting it here. Or I don't know. It's just so amazing. An expert in anything is always amazing to watch. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what other things were at PRG? Like, I think we made a comment. I don't know if it was on stream, but last year there was a lot of there wasn't as much older stuff. Um, it was a lot newer generations of things, and this year was a lot of older stuff. It was just the opposite. It was almost like all those um stores that deal in the older stuff didn't show up last year. Yeah. Like, maybe they were all scared of COVID. I don't know. There was a lot of Vectrax. There was a lot oh, of 2600. Not a, a lot, lot of, but more. A lot of older, a lot of Atari stuff here and yeah. there. Um, it felt quite different. It felt normal. Like, last yeah. year felt a bit strange, weird. a bit weird. I can't explain that. But this or year, no, it was great. Although, sadly, we were trying to find that Asteroid shirt that I bought last year. And yeah. whatever that... The booth um, didn't have it. That or booth... No, I don't exist. think it was there this year, the booth that That's I got that true. shirt from. So, kind of a shame. Yeah. Nice shirt. So I wanted to see, like, other variations. Yeah, a lot of t-shirts. I swear, like, last oh. year there were tons of t-shirts, and like, this year... There was, like, two booths. Yeah, not a two lot. Two major booths, Not anyway. a lot this year. A lot of uh, trinkets, booths. Tons of trinkets. Which is good. Which is fun, you Because we were looking for I some. I like trinkets. <laughs> um, I like stuff. This is hard. Can put that Kidding. on uh, the Gorf Arcade. Uh, Stop it. Advertising. This is hard. James from Zero Page. This is hard. <laughs> Too late. Box is already out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have to earn my patches. Yes, you do. Zone today for this. Well, maybe because I'm talking or we're talking too yeah, much. Yeah, I'm, I'm distracted, but that's okay. So what I'll else about the event? Um, the Atari Age booth. Yeah, was let's talk about the Atari Wonderful. Age booth. It, they had what 21 releases this year? Uh, yes, 21 releases. 21. Um, it's weird that I remember that number, but I do. Um, and they had a console and a screen for every single one. Yeah, it was much more spaced out. It was twice the twice the size of last year. It, last year was in the back. This year was right up front. Right at the Came in the door, turned to the right. There it was. Yay. Level nine. Oh my god, that's so sad. Thirty six I have to get to, and that's my best is level nine so far. Um they had all the banners all across for yep. all the for almost all the games. It, it looked really, really good, yeah. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Um, 
Yeah, they had all the systems there. They had Jaguars, 2600s, 5200s. They had um, Ducks Away with a light gun there. Um, um, like I said, we helped set up, uh, not set up, but we did the boxes um, on the th Thursday. Thursday? Friday. Friday. Yep. Friday. In the morning. And uh, what did Al say? About 800 boxes. It's a lot of boxes. And uh, we helped tear down on yep. the Sunday. Yep, put stuff away. Yep, put it all in the boxes, all the t-shirts, mm -hmm. all, the, all the games. We put them in bags so they don't rub against each other. So all the games that didn't get sold, they go back for the Atari Age store. So Al and April were there. Mm -hmm. A bunch of people from um, Atari. Because they had a kind of a corner of the booth. Yes. Um, they had some 2600 pluses there for demoing, because they're not for sale yet. No, yeah, but they had them in some VCS machines. And some VCSs. For people to play on. And they had some t-shirts and hats. Mm -hmm. uh, gonna die there. And uh, some of the 50th anniversary um, sets. Of games, yeah. Of games. Um, you know, the one through 10. Mm -hmm. And... Um, Uh, yeah, um, so they had some demo systems there. Yeah, so you could play um, all the, like, all the up-and-coming games as well. Yep, and lots of merch. Yep. Um, sweatshirts and sweatpants, which were kind of cool, too. The Atari. Atari, Atari, Atari did, did. yep. Um, and, uh... What else yeah. about the Atari age? I'm booth? trying to think. Um, you know, it was just very it was big. big. It was like twice the size as last year. So there was a lot of space to kind of roam around and play all the games. They were all yes. set up. They were spaced out this very year. Last spaced year, the 1702 monitors were packed right against each other. Yep. This year, it was like, okay, they're in groups. They're well spaced out. People could actually, like two people at a time could sit at one console. Uh, last year, it was like one person per console. Very packed. So I think going forward, this is going to be the size or even bigger, possibly, mm -hmm. I will say, um, next year. That's excellent. Yeah, yeah I, I think it was a wonderful beautiful location setup. and setup to display all the games. Yeah, one of the cleanest uh, booths, I think, mm -hmm. uh, in the whole place. It was just really nicely laid out. It almost felt like one of the arcade areas, to be honest, because with yeah. everything set up and people yeah. could just wander through and play games. Hi. Nice shot. You at land Hi, little cooker. And do space wow. captain. <laughs> Girl, not warrior. Die. Be and destroy the space no. captain. Uh, and okay, let's move to the Champ Games booth. Oh, so yeah, just, also looking good. Six. Yeah, just a couple booths away. Yeah. Around the corner was a Champ Games booth. Um, how many setups? Six. Six, yeah. Yeah, I think he had six uh, monitors set up with so consoles could, so you so could, could play Turbo Arcade and okay. Elevator Action. Or any of the older uh, pre yeah. other releases. They had all of them there. They had them all there. They, they, I think they did really well. They brought some of the older... So they had carts. They had the, their games on carts. Yep. They had mini posters for just yep. about every game. And um, I know John was saying that uh, they, they brought a few of the older games, and I think they sold them all. All of them. All of them. Every single game. So they did very well. I think they sold every game. I think like they even, might have. Even the new ones, I yeah, think. Yeah, so, so I, I'm happy to hear that that was really successful for them because yep. uh, their games are fantastic. And, uh, oh, yeah. Um, uh, and, uh, 
Um, so helping at their booth yep. uh, was John, his brother Paul, and Nathan, uh, Nathan Strom, and uh, Steve Ramirez, S. Ramirez. Oh, yes, yeah, yeah, I almost forgot helping, about Steve. On the Saturday, booth. I think, yeah, yeah. Was it just on the Saturday? I think he left on the Sunday oh, morning, right. if I recall. Which is a slower day anyway, so yeah. it's good that he was there for the yeah. Saturday. Helping. So, yeah, it was excellent. Yeah. Oh! Uh, almost. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah Quit talking. No, uh, I think it was a successful uh, convention for them. So. Very successful. Yeah, so very, I'm very good. Glad they're able to um, continue on. Uh, absolutely. And they did a qu very quick turnaround to um, get their games on in box and on cartridge. Like all of them. They don't. Oh no. Oh, the wrong way. You just... So they said they're going to be back next year, which is awesome because, you know, they did really well, so I don't mm -hmm. know why they wouldn't want to. And it's such a great convention, too. Mm -hmm. How to do that? Get them when they're small because they do tight circles. Mm -hmm. Yep. Your bullet is more likely. If, if to you're hit. lucky, you, you can get really lucky within the first couple of spins because once they're once yeah. they get wider, it becomes a lot harder to dodge them. Uh, it's hard. Advanced is hard. Uh, <laughs> it's hard. So terrible. Do you want me to play a little bit? Yeah. Or are you okay? Well, I got. I'm getting better. We'll keep playing then. No, no, no. I need a little if bit. If you of a need break. a break, if your hand needs a break, break. Yeah. I will go back to uh, so that's an all novice, to which will feel the very second slow. round of spinners. Hi, kitty. Oh my gosh, this cat. Oh, it's cuddles. Um, so, for streaming there, yeah. our, our setup was um, laptop connected to their Wi-Fi, not their business plan because it was very expensive. Oh my goodness, it was ridiculous. It was fifty dollars for the business plan. A day, a day, not not the yeah, weekend. A day. A day. Ridiculous. And, and 15 for their normal plan? It was 12. 12, okay. But 15 can yeah. Okay, so 12, which was, you know, the highway robbery, but more reasonable than 50. Ah. And uh, it was like two and a half megabits per second up, which is what we use. And so I set it to two megabits per second, and it was uh, quite blocky. Yeah. Because the laptop isn't a powerhouse because it's a laptop and it's old yes so it was blocky when, it, when we were still it looked fine but when we we're moving it was like it was a bit rough but watchable and the sound was good um when it was working and so i had wireless uh wireless sound like um semi-professional wireless sound actually but it, at one point it cut out Another point, it went really quiet <sighs> and hissy. Yes. For no reason. Yeah, no I different don't know setup. why. I don't know why it suddenly went wonky like that. I should have changed channels on it. But, yeah. Oh, you're so higher. It's actually easier to dodge than, ah, when you're higher. To go down and around? Ah, uh, um, no. Shoot. Ugh. Oh, my God. Um, and so I had a, a wireless uh, directional mic. Not a wireless mic. I had a directional mic. Oh, you get caught in that corner. Um, that it. sounded quite good when it was working properly. But we had to be portable with the laptop, so it kind of had to be closed in a bag to make it even workable. And so we couldn't see the screen of where uh, the camera was pointed. For the most, for the most part, it... Um, it worked fine. It was it was very it's fairly wide. It's the most deadly level, that's for sure. It's a fairly wide, it's a webcam, so it's quite wide. But next year, we're going to um, use a phone 
I think so. So there's always a screen. It's smaller. And we're both going to have new phones by next year. That's what we're hoping. Well, we will. <sighs> and um, then I'll have a Bluetooth microphone. Or transmitting through Bluetooth anyway. I'll probably use the Bluetooth transmitter we have here. Um, which would be perfect. It's super small. And then just attach any microphone, probably even the same microphone, to it or another one. Oh god, I must do that! Following, following the trajectory of the bullet. Level five. You play once more and I'll play again. See, it's a different, it's a different, uh... Is it? I'm pretty sure it is. Oh, it is! See? I told you. You oh. got 27 on that advanced. Look! Oh my god, I'm doing terrible. Yeah. <laughs> that is my score. Level 27. Psst. What's... Still is the first cry. level on standard? It must be on standard, not novice. Well, there's... You can get a different patch on each four, each of the four. But there's four patches. What is... What is... Like, it doesn't show that... Any, I wasn't recording level. it at that point. No? I didn't have it plugged in when I was playing novice. Oh, okay. That makes sense, then. I'm going to play one more time, because that was terrible. Terrible around. Um, and we'll have, like, a gimbal or something to have, to have the, um, the phone on. Something like that. So it's nice and steady. We'll pay for the business one. Uh, maybe we'll just broadcast one day, so we don't have to pay for fifty dollars once, and just do all our broadcasting on, um, you know, either the Saturday or the Sunday. Yeah. Probably the Sunday because on Sunday you get to talk with people, right? Yeah. On the Saturday they're overwhelmed. You don't even aren't able to able to talk with them. And it's quieter on the Sunday, so you can move yeah. around easier. So the quality be better oh, in every aspect, so we'll do that next yeah. And it'll be even lighter equipment, so that was a bit excessive, carrying a laptop around. And it only had batteries for, you know, 40 minutes maximum before we had to plug it in. And, um, and this time we'll have a phone, which uses less batteries, and we can attach a huge battery to it if we need to, right? So that'll be oh my goodness. much better. Hey, turn around! Whoa! -ho -ho -ho. Um, what else about the broadcasting? Yeah, other than that, it went great. We talked to people. People were very oh, receptive. No. To you the, have to go down. You should have gone down and shot him. Yeah, you have to go down. I think the broadcasting went well for what we had. Yeah. Um, I am not the replace all the saved weight with batteries. Exactly. More and more batteries. Batteries are good job. Batteries are super cheap now. <laughs> ah! Slipping. No! Bring it in again. Got good like at this level. I, no, I don't know why I did so well for a second there. I was <laughs> just like just timing it perfectly for a brief moment. Oh, this guy is so hard. You did it. Carson nice. 70 says, I get scared of cheap ones, see too many bursting battery videos. Yeah, you don't just buy the cheapest batteries because there are fake, fake, fake batteries out there. You need to buy ones that... What I do is I watch reviews of batteries on YouTube and they will say specific brands of batteries and those are the ones I go for because there's ones that say oh it's like a five million milliamp hours and it's like no this is garbage inside you're just fake and there's no repercussions for these companies whatsoever because all they do is make another listing with another random garbage string of letters names so yeah that's I, I make sure I do research on the batteries beforehand because there are very bad batteries out there. Um, let's see. What next topic about PRGE can we talk about? 
The kitties. No, we talked about kitties. Kitties were fantastic. Kitties were adorable. Um, all the people we met. So, um, before we went to the PRG, we made sure we said to everyone, just come up to us. Just don't be shy. Don't be scared. Yell out our names. Come up to us. We will not bite. And uh, we have coasters and we have stickers. So I gave stickers to everyone that we met and coasters to those who asked for them. Yep. And there was a bunch of people asked for yep. them, which was awesome. So we gave right them off the bat. Gave away a bunch of them. And we still have some leftovers, yep. so we'll be giving those away next year, making some more. Doing terrible. Yeah, it's a big, wide open, flashy part. Get it. Ugh, it's not timing it up well. Um, and I got, I asked for pictures with everybody that uh, yeah. came up to us, and they were like, "You want a picture?" It's like, "Yeah, I want, a, I want lots of pictures." Of course we it's do. Fun. And I think I posted all the pictures of. Uh, the people that came up. I think already. you did. Yeah, I think you posted. So them. now I need to post all the random, random pictures. Kev says, I had to give one of my RC lipos a saltwater bath recently. I'm scared. Uh, it was turning into a spicy pillow. Oh my god. I, w I would be too scared to fix a battery. I just like, no, take it to the recycling and get a new one. But I. Uh, Understandably, you go through batteries and use batteries, and your batteries are probably way more expensive than phone batteries and batteries that uh, I use. I've certainly replaced phone batteries. Yes. Did you do one? Oh, on my phone? I've done yeah. that multiple times. Okay. So I, I, mean, I think I, I did it last me, time. Me? I don't know if I did it. I'm just uh, saying, I'm saying we've, 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 we we have done that, the we've grand we. have done it. <laughs> uh, or I've sent it to a place to yeah. to replace it. Because sometimes it's hard to get the battery. Yeah, but we replaced. Um, I replaced the battery on both of our phones. I think recently. both of our phones needed them. Yeah. Ah. And it helped a lot because they were. Mine was bulging, and then I thought, oh, well, we better replace yours in the same time. Bulging is never a good sign. Because yours, no, you replace immediately, and yours was not lasting very long. Now, I dunked them in salt water to discharge and neutralize them beforehand. Okay, the salt water conducts and discharges. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. Spicy pillow. I know. Spicy I, pillow. I like that. Oh, spicy is a great word. It is. Especially when you apply it to cats. They are spicy okay. cats sometimes. Thank you, cats. Yeah, they are. Tara, you wouldn't think would be such a spicy cat, but he, he can be. Mmm. I almost you have a toenail. It's oh yeah, it's almost back to normal, it. isn't it? It's about a month, uh, a couple weeks away to a month away from me being able to do my first cut of my nail after the cat attack. <laughs> the scared cat attack. Oh no, no, no. Oh, that was close. Oh, you oh, ran right into it. Oh, I tried to go down. Uh, <sighs> um. Yeah, people were super friendly. They came up to us, chatting. Really, yeah. I mean, a lot of a lot of the vendors recognized us and said hi. Yeah. Um, and when we're filming, people were so nice to us, giving us stuff. Ugh, I do it every time. You gotta you, go down and shoot them. But you just you hit a wall and you think you're gonna have more room than than you are. This level is tough. It I have is tough. With it's this almost one. it's almost more tough than the circular one. I mean, the the one where it's. Yeah, spinning around is, is hard. This one. I find that last one just a little bit less tough. This is the toughest one for me. The mothership is nothing. Well, so, so you say. Well, Someone just struggle easier. with the mothership. <laughs> this one is dangerous. Yeah, because of the, the bullets, the spheres, <sighs> yellow and red spheres. Oh my goodness. Oh, yeah. I think they don't do as many circles in the higher uh, in the lower no. levels. They kind of go off the screen easier. In the higher levels, they just keep coming back around and around. Um, and we went um, went to dinner with some people at the pizza place, like we said. And that was fun. And then we also had the meetup, the the public meetup at. Uh, ground control. Oh, God. And Again. Al was able to make it, which is awesome, because usually yeah. he is too tired. He is. After he the is. setup and the long Saturday, 
But he came and stayed for the whole thing. So awesome. Oh, he made it. Yay. Are you ZPH? Yeah, ZPH. Thank you. <laughs> it's all good. Then I don't have to yeah. change it at first. Five is terrible. I've done better than five. I definitely nine got is nine. Pathetic. Nine before. I've definitely gotten a lot higher. Oh, you have. We're not doing very well today on this game. No, we are not. Oh my goodness. We are doing sad and pathetic. <sighs> Great game. That's what happens when you're away from the show for a week and a half. I know you lose all your skills, all of them. <laughs> I need to play some. Uh... Baldur's Gate. <laughs> yeah, that too. Uh, impossible mission to get my. Oh, um... yeah. My confidence level back up. I've played in 7800. 7800? Mm -hmm. The fixed version. I saw uh, there is a version for the uh, Nintendo 64. Yeah, it's the right era. I didn't tell uh... you. It, it was going for $8, so I assumed it was a terrible game, a terrible version of it. But... Oh. Probably for $8. PRG lag, yeah. PRG what are you lag. doing? Don't I don't want you to come me. Get out of there. <laughs> no cat computes. Um, oh, yeah, uh, yeah, so we did that and at the at, um, ground control. That was a lot of fun. Ground Played control is a fantastic arcade if you ever get the chance to go. It's such a big Decor space. Decor is amazing. And uh, there's a couple of little bar areas so you, that you can kind of just go and relax and play a few games. Um, it is pay as you, as you go, like you you, you which is ooh, which is fine for good players. That's great. You get a card and you and you play and you load it up. And I actually um, found my card from last year. Yeah, and that's what we we used. Didn't spend a dime. <laughs> yeah, we just it was used money that we no uh, still on had it. on our cards. So there you go. A whole bunch on it. There was. I was surprised. Yeah. I guess we had to leave. Like, like, yeah. Our time must have been limited or something. I or I loaded it just before we. Yeah. Oh, RC70. So RC70 says you mentioned RC, and it made me realize I have a few years old airsoft batteries. I forgot are in oh, a God. bin somewhere. Oh. That's going to keep me up until I find. <laughs> oh yeah, it should. Yeah. Um, House fire. Also said I started Baldur's Gate three while you were away. Oh. I don't think I have the patience for RPGs anymore. Oh, oh no. Oh. Though I already have thirteen hours into it. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, you get once you get into it. You'll, you'll that's enjoy it. it. You're done. Yeah. You're done. It just takes it takes a dedication of time, and I find games like that are quite addictive. James can attest to this. Oh, yes. I want to play it for like seven straight hours all day, and I really don't have the time to play any game for seven straight hours. Um, not, not, not properly. No. no, well, no, I have other things, things I mean. to do, you know. Yeah. I'm, not, you don't I'm, have those hours I'm free. not a 15-year-old, you know, kid in high school, so... Um, I mean, we just it have is kittens, quite... and they love when you play the oh, games. Oh, that's true, but... Uh, so we don't have many responsibilities, which is awesome. Uh, that's why we can play video games all the time. So we don't have responsibilities. Oh, no, I got Annabelle killed, and now I want to start over. Is oh, that no. the little tea? Is that the tiefling girl the, who steals something? Or is it the girl in the cage? No, 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 no. That's, uh, like, le, le, oh. starts with an L. Uh, I'm not going to pronounce it right. That's the little tiefling girl who's who was stealing something. Oh, you got her killed? Oh, my God. <laughs> you can always start over. How'd you can you get, also start multiple games. How'd you get her killed? That, the little, little girl that steals an idol. Well, it's through an interaction. Oh. Yeah. You chose poorly. <laughs> <laughs> I just I just roll with it because it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It in really the end. doesn't matter in the end. Yeah. And you'll probably see a unique path that a lot of shows other... up that other people won't see. Yeah, because most people go, oh god, she died. I have to start over. Yeah. And people won't accept <laughs> dead children. Yeah. Um, but uh, I. I think I've only done yeah. that like once where I'm like, no, no, this is not the path I want to be on. Um, but other than I, that, I'm just, I've given up on trying for a good path. I'm just like, okay, I chose wrong. That's okay. Yeah, I... Uh, and there's no Baldur's Gate? Oh my God, that was stupid. Baldur's Gate merch there at all. I didn't see no, one well, thing. I was saying, oh, I wonder if they'll have something because like I said last year, they had a lot more modern stuff. It was retro, retro It was totally year. retro yeah, this year, which is awesome. the way it should be. It truly is the way it should be. So, yeah. like, uh, didn't see a lot of modern stuff. No, it's great. 
Is that's what you're going for. So RC78, what character do you play? What kind of character do you play? Like race and class and yeah. all of that. Are you are you a fighter? Do you like to play the fighters? Do you like to be the tank that just plows through <laughs> everything right. that comes? I love being the tank. Yeah, you love being the tank. Big weapons. I hate when I pick Battle a character. Axes. Yeah. And they're like, you're too weak to hold that thing. <laughs> I'm like, okay, I am barbarian forever. They can still do, they can cast things if they want to. They're yeah. poor at it, but I don't want to be restricted on the weapons that I find. It makes me upset. Yeah. So I'm always the fighter, always or the barbarian the type of character. Okay, okay. So if I you always... can't wear that armor, it's too heavy for you. It's like, oh my god. Yeah. You're pathetic. You're a pathetic character. I, uh,. I, I, I will play both. I do like to play wizards and spellcasters. Yeah. I like to get myself to the le level where I can just have like a massive fireball and just destroy everyone. Fire! Everything's dead. Yeah. They're um, awesome on high levels. They're so good. But I can't wait. I want to um, destroy now. I want to hit somebody <laughs> over the head and they're dead. I started twice. Once as the mage guy, and then I made a custom fighter. Yeah, I think I think I actually what I I do like to go back and play as a fighter too. Yeah. Because that's what I did with Dragon Age Inquisition. I did one one playthrough as a spellcaster, and then uh, one playthrough as a fighter. So, but uh, I always start it with the spellcaster. I like to have the spells that open all the the. What level am I playing? I don't know. Did I pick two. the super advanced one? No. Are, are these you in got, challenge? I no. must be. These these dudes maybe. weren't there. Maybe you're in oh, challenge. Oh, maybe I've just been playing long enough. Yeah. No, you're, 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 yeah, no, oh, you're Oh, because I have no playing. lives left. That's why. Uh, yeah, I have been playing a while. Um, yeah, Tenya always plays the spellcasters, which is very, very cool. Yeah. I like playing the I just can't wait. I can't wait for being able to smash people. I also like having high persuasion. Mm. And you can just yeah, convince this game, people of everything. That's super So handy. I up the persuasion and the intelligence. And uh, that, that's I'm a spellcaster who can basically talk anyone into anything. So um, <laughs> I think it's a pretty good... Yes, yes. These are not basically. the droids that you're looking for. Yeah. <coughs> she never picks up a weapon. <laughs> um no. What do they call it? Crude, crude weapons of an ancient time or something. Oh, I don't I don't know. Yeah, she just carries a quarter staff. Um, hi! Uh, no, I like to also have the spells that open every single treasure chest oh, you come across God. and open every door. And doors. Doors That's and so treasure good. chests. So it's just like, mine, mine, oh, door, I don't need a key. <laughs> yeah, open, yeah, open, open. Yeah, open you this. just make someone else pick up a weapon. I agree. And the next time you're going to be like, I want to talk to animals immediately. Oh, right? yeah. Hiss, hiss, I say. Hiss, hiss, I say. Oh, the cats <laughs> in that game are fantastic. Oh, if you haven't talked to the cats, make sure you try and get whatever you need to <laughs> talk to the cats. Yeah, get the scrolls and or the potions. I think you can create potions for animal talking. All right. I usually turn into a loot goblin, yeah. <laughs> Just loot all the stuff. Okay, I'm gonna play one more game. I did actually marginally better. Oh, I'm working on figuring out that weird cow. Uh, I did oh. deal with the weird cow, but in a, in in Act Two, so it, later on. He says move oh, like a person. That ain't right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you'll you'll find out. You'll find out later. <laughs> I love the animals. They've They're done so such a good job funny. with the animals. Um, yeah, you you definitely need to get the talking to animals. Uh, Potions and spells, potions. yeah. They're pretty awesome. Anything like that that like extends the gameplay and the um cuz cuz the uh, scripts are so good. They're so good. The voice acting is fantastic. So 
But remember to talk to every cat you run across. Yeah. They're always entertaining. What is happening out there? Cats are going nice. Kind of amazing. This game is on a 2600 degree. It is it astounding. Is fantastic. Fantastic game. And you're playing it off the cart, too. Yep. Yep. Off All the cart. On, on if I have the cart, I'll play hardware. it on the cart. Yep. Yeah, for patches, I'll play them off the cart. Oh, yeah. I think it's good it's to play It's just more official that way. Game. I don't know. Just feels better doing it that way. Yeah. Come on, stop it. How long did we play for you to get those other patches? We played for quite a while. Yeah, a decent amount of time. This is this is a harder, a much harder. Not oh. many people have this patch. Let's just say. Yeah. Apparently, the fourth patch, the fourth one, level patch. One person has it. And S. Ramirez does not, not. Yeah, it's not S. Ramirez. It's not Steve. If you can believe that. We're all in awe. So, yeah, um, I'm not convinced it's doable. <laughs> <laughs> the fourth one. If Steve can't do it, I'm not sure yeah, who can. If Steve can't do it, I think that person's lying. Yeah. <laughs> they hacked the yeah, game or something. They hacked it. It's faked. Completely faked. It's level. It's level. So hard. No. No. Um, I was watching a Twitch live stream of all the voice actors from Baldur's Gate 3 playing D&D. So good. It's just amazing because you see the real actors and actually their they look like characters are designed to look like them. And just hearing the because they put on the voices, yeah, it's it's just really entertaining to watch. I'm not a big D and D person. Yeah, um, I've never really played it much, but just hearing them all play their characters in that in that kind of like role playing environment is is really cool. Well, with Baldur's Gate three, you, you're basically playing D and D. I know, but I've just never like in person played D and D. I play all the RPGs, the the video games. <laughs> they had some beautiful um, critical role. I think it's is DM it critical role. Is that the stream? I think it's critical yeah, role. I think so. Did you see those DM screens? That one. Um, oh yeah. Gorgeous. Yeah. But you played D and D a little bit. Did a you? little bit with Darcy back in the. Um, back in the ye old days. Uh, in the eighties. Late 80s. With some friends. That feels very authentic somehow. <laughs> Playing D and D in the 80s. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It was. It was authentic. We were the. We were the nerds. We were the geeks. Were you outcasts. accused of being Satanists? No. Easy. Our area of the world was not like that. <laughs> we live in a very non-religious part of the world. So they were not crazy people thinking like that it's not as bad as other places let's say well i think it was it was always a little bit of that when it hit the media and all that yeah. none of our parents were like then you got interrupted by demogorgon killing people in your town exactly yeah. and then he didn't play D, &D again and after then it that. all got bad <laughs> i was like this is yes. too real man yeah Way too real. Can you can't you see Darcy and James in a basement somewhere <laughs> with was a basement. green shag carpeting on a yeah. old seventies couch it was playing linoleum. D &D. Linoleum. Oh, God. I think we're playing on a ping pong table. So. <laughs> That's even better. <laughs> oh, there's got to be a photo somewhere. It was nowhere near as cool as they make it out to be in uh, <laughs> in uh, Stranger Things. In Stranger Things. <laughs> uh, good times. But uh, there were, I think they did have figures. Yeah. I didn't have any. I didn't, I didn't get that deep into it, so. Yeah. I didn't have any special equipment. Just playing Just it right off the... made my character. Yeah. Made my fighter. Because <laughs> it's so much easier, like, to manage a fighter when you don't really know much about the game. It's like, yeah, I just oh, have my yeah. weapon, and I just hit... And then I hit the thing. The dice. Did yeah. I, did I kill it? How many hit points did I do? Yeah. <laughs> Corey and Mike probably too, says Kev. Uh, 
didn't play with them. No. Um, I played a little bit of... With them, it was more... Uh, um, magic. The Gathering. You play Magic the Gather Gathering? So small amount. Mostly I just watched. Them play? I didn't have cards. I just oh. bor borrowed their decks. Oh, I see. Um, no, it was with um, people that... Um, it was with Dean and... Um, Oh, no, Concentrating. Destroyed. Dean and Brad. I don't know if yeah. you know them. Dean and Brad. Kev. Two very 80s sounding names. Oh, 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 oh. oh, where did that come from? Oh, that was what? cheating. That was the last. Did you see that? Last guy on the screen like did a huge It like burbled you up the bum. That yeah. was terrible. So <laughs> What was cheaty. that? So oh, cheaty. Oh, no. Okay, that's oh, it. Oh, man. That's it. Uh, you that's done? it for the night. Yeah, this is terrible. <laughs> this is not my night. It's not going well, unfortunately. Advanced. Yep. Yeah, much higher score. You can see that 27 from I'm not before. even going to, yeah, write that down. We'll have to, we'll have to give it another go. Oh, yeah, yeah. We're just chatting too much. If we didn't that's say a word, it would be a boring stream. Yes. But you'd probably... Uh, Do a little bit better. Glide through a little bit more, but that's okay. Severe alerts for Vancouver. Rainfall effect is in war rainfall Ugh. warning in effect. Yeah, of course. It's gonna be another rough morning tomorrow. Commute, commute in. <sighs> so, um, I've turned this off, or it's gonna be blabbing, 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 blabbing. Blab. Okay, yeah, it might be kitties. A bit hi. hi, you kitties. look very expectant again. Do you want some catnip? Oh yeah, maybe. We'll do treats again, but if anybody wants to give catnip to the cats, because yeah. I. Not many people here for the for the treats. Oh yeah, it's, it's it's show. party time for kittens, cats, 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 cats. cats, cats. Is it party time for kittens? Yeah. Atari came time? bounding down. Yeah, so. he was sleeping upstairs. Yeah, let's have some catnip. Thank you, RC70. Thank you, RC70. The Fill cats up those say reservoirs. That's thank true. you. When I was picking up the asthma medication, the pharmacist said uh, that oh, it's good for the the fires. The rain's good for the oh, fires, putting out the fires. Yes, so. that's true. There, are there many fires left? I only guess a tiny bit. Be a... Only put a tiny bit. That's so enough. You. There you go. You. More than enough there for these go. cats. There they just go. roll in it. I don't actually eat much of it. Cute kitties. Yeah, get those kitties nice and cat nom, nom, pie. Nom, 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 nom. Nom it. Um, so, <laughs> what's coming up? Oh, I have to go to the cat cam. Yeah, show I the cat that. cam. There we go. Um, so what's Did coming up? Show Atari. Atari, oh, come here. Oh, he here. says his look, tail look. is. Let's put it a little bit to the side. Here. Here. Here's a little bit more. Come here. There you go, baby. <laughs> so let's see what's coming up on the show. Oh my god, cat. <laughs> Tipped it upside down. Well, that's your fault, isn't it? There you go. That's coming up. On the show next episode, huge show. You do want to be there. It is the exclusive world premiere of Doom Slayer Edition on the Jaguar. This is like a super duper uh, updated, awesome version of Doom um, that Cyrano J and Neo RG, who we met at PRG, hi. Um, have been working on amongst a lot of other people for mm -hmm. a while, for a long while. And uh, yeah, we'll be playing that exclusively. Just mm. that game with Erlen. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if Erlen has played Doom in any format. I, I'm sure he might. Yes, but yeah, he, I don't he's know. More, uh, he's not first person shooters as far as I know. He's more like Baldur's Gate 3 style mm. games where it's overhead, three quarter view. Yes. Oh, don't let Get him knock that on. Get out of there. Get out of there. Rip and tear until it's done. <laughs> um, then some other stuff we have coming up. ABBUC 2023 contest entries. Uh, I think that's towards the end of the month. Um, so I'll have to check and see how those are going. Uh, see if the contest is over or not yet. Probably not. It's still another week. Um, we're going to be playing Fabrizio Caruso's cross-platform games at some mm -hmm. point. We have the Halloween Homebrew Special on the 31st, which is Tuesday, with Tanya. I'm excited for that. We'll be in costume. The cats, 
might be in costume if they cooperate. We do have costumes for them. We do have cat They're costumes. They're so cute. If you're coming for any reason, come for the cat costumes. Come for the cat costumes. We are going to try. <laughs> if anything, maybe Ireland's trying Doom 2016. He's such a young. Yes. That's what I'm thinking. He yeah. might have played the, the new Doom. Yeah. Um, where we have an exclusive work in progress update on Tober's Nightmare. Such an amazing game. Oh, so good. Um, I'm excited. Yeah. We also have the exclusive world premiere of Geist, as in Poltergeist. Oh. Uh, Ghosty Ghosties. And we're going to be playing uh, Hack, 2600 Hack, Fright Zone. We're going to be playing Hobgoblin for the Atari 8 bit. Mm. Maybe a fifth game mm. as well. I think Tober's Nightmare will take up a lot of room because uh, Tober's that's Nightmare such a is a good game. time. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we also have the four-player special coming up in November <gasps> with four light guns. Yeah. With the one game that has four light guns. That's um, Ducks away, and we'll be playing fifty-two hundred. We'll be playing a lot of um, Quadtari games. Um, some 8-bit games because we have the multi-joy for the atari 8-bit which nice. supports up to eight players but we only have four four people mm -hmm. we're not gonna have more than four people we're gonna need a bigger crt yeah, yeah it's gonna be this tiny <laughs> atari we're gonna be squished in like Commodore this screen yeah all, all four hands like in, in four corners of the screen going like this <laughs> yep. yeah 7800 won't know what hit it no nope. and it's it's never been played with four light guns mm. <laughs> al only had two and in the chat, in the Discord, see. he said, I should have had somebody looking for me for those light guns. I'm like, mm, I needed them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I told, um, him nope. about the, I told him about the boxed one oh, in yeah. Discord, and he says, I would have bought that. Oh, really? Um, so I guess I didn't tell him about it. I thought you did, but maybe I thought not. I, did. Uh, yeah. I mean, he was busy. He was very busy. Yeah, yeah. I would have bought that for him. Yeah. Um, uh, later in November, we have the Atari Jaguars 30th Anniversary Classic Gaming Countdown. We did I'm this for the for that. Yeah. did this for the 2600 uh, earlier this year. Yeah, played 500 games. Oh, yeah, it was a lot of games. Yeah, on a timer, a little <laughs> bit of each. But it's so interesting to go yeah. through all of them. And with the Atari Jaguar, I've not played many Jaguar games, I've so I am really looking forward next to that. To zero. I think like that's going to be one or two. Really, really cool to just. Boom, yes. go through a whole bunch and of And I have all the controllers now. Wonderful. I have a rotary controller. Yep. I have a pro controller. I have multiple controllers. Mm -hmm. I have even the mouse. I have to buy an adapter for that. So I have mm. to remember to buy an adapter in case there is a mouse game, which I there should be, I think, maybe. Um, and other things. And then the Atari. Oh, yeah. Um, also, um, <laughs> excuse me. Where is it? What are you looking for? Uh, Atari Age Day. Oh, yes. Yes. Coming up in November sometime. Where we're going to unbox games like this. <laughs> um, like Artie Yay. and other uh, games that were sold at the Atari Age booth. We Which, didn't get to show them off today. but No, that's okay. That's, no, we're that's gonna the reserve whole point that. is to show it off. It then. is. Yes. Where we're going to talk to every single developer. Yes. Hopefully all live. Yes. Uh, most of them were live last year. Yeah. Um and uh there's 21 games some of them are multiple games from the same person so mm -hmm. we'll group those together um so there's jaguar there's lynx there's no 5200 yeah. uh there's 70 hundreds and 26 hundreds so a good variety that's excellent and i think we'll do it in uh this room this year because i have a nice setup for swapping yes yes yeah we have a nice sign as well look at this sign. It's a beautiful sign i love it it doesn't even get sign. hot it's like no, mildly it's, warm. Uh, it's fantastic. Oh, yeah, it's I so bright. It's so pretty. Um, what else? And of course, the sixth annual Atari Homebrew Awards, where we'll be giving out more of these beautiful things. Let's switch back to the main screen now. Here we go. Giving out more of these beautiful trophies. Okay. Little... Shiny, there shiny we trophies. We're going to make them even better this yes, year. We, we have are. plans to make plans. them beautiful. Yes. That I'm going to help out with as well. And Tanya's going to be doing most of that work. Yay. But you're an expert at it now. <laughs> sort of. <laughs> Ooh, that was a long process. Yep. yep. And I think yep. there's only one more to be delivered. <laughs> the oh, last really? person in Italy is waiting for theirs. Oh, no. And it's, and it's made it to Italy. Oh, it has. So you can. Tr it is tracked. And I think it's like on its way 
to the door oh tomorrow. Oh my gosh. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, so. good luck. Good luck. Almost little... in time for this year's award. Yeah. Good luck, little award. I hope yeah. you make it. Go for it. Yeah. All of them have made it so far. That's None really of them good lost, to hear. Which is very making me very yeah. happy. Yeah. Because some countries don't have tracking, which which sucks. It's like just no tracking at mm. all. Then Greece didn't have tracking, and one South American country didn't have tracking. Really? Yeah. Okay. Just some yeah. random countries. They just. They just don't do it. They just don't do it. Yeah. Like, you nah. hit a wall, and it's just like it you gets get there. It if you it get it. Yeah. Oh, well. Um. Yeah, and lots of other things in between there as well. Um. Oh yeah, and we're gonna be um unboxing and talking to um champ games john yes for these two games Woo. coming up uh whenever Super they tea. go into the champ game store yes which uh, november december around there and so we'll be unboxing and playing those and uh Super learning all about those and yep. yeah, checking out the manual and stuff like that so stay tuned for those awesome things coming up and i can only show these two patches sadly oh I still only earned the two oh. i had high hopes today but so pretty that that score i got on the level i'm playing at yeah was the score i got at the end of last play session where i got the second patch that's why i was well practiced for that oh i see okay. that's why i did so well yeah and I don't know what happened today. Terribleness happened today. You should do more. You can post a clip in the stream. What is this? I'm getting a deal because it's, it's not, not real. real. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Getting a deal because it's not real. What was that about? Getting a deal because it's, it's not, not real. real. Yeah. 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 <laughs> that was we were talking. What was it about? We were talking the N64. Oh, did you get a deal because it's not real? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even notice that we synced up. Did you notice that when we said that? I I did, but it's funny to hear it. Such, Such har harmony. <laughs> so beautiful. It's a perfect clip. Yeah. Nice. Actually, I'll, good I'll, job. Good job, RC70. <laughs> actually, I can put that on the screen. Can you? Yeah. Oh, oh, we're doing an Inception thing again, are we? Oh, kind of, yeah. Oh, I think I can do that <laughs> uh -huh. for the YouTube. There we go. That's weird. Getting a deal because it's, it's not, not real. real. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> then we just stop. That's so funny. <laughs> Getting a deal because it's not real. Yeah. Oh, good Very clip. good. <laughs> <laughs> mm. So that's it for today. Mm -hmm. Um, thanks for hanging out with us mm -hmm. on this uh, late-ish, rainy, rainy, rainy late Wednesday dark evening show. It's so dark now. Um, <sighs> RC70 nostalgic. It's Kev, Dan FC, RC70. I already said your name. Got it twice. Um, uh, Nitro Hepcat. Uh, nostalgic twenty six. Frau seven. Uh, Atari 2600 dude. Dan AVC. De Jedekaya for that wonderful gift. Thank oh, you so thank much. Oh, thank you. I have to find a place to hang up that uh, yep. Atari um, certificate. Oh, it's so. so cool. Oh, my God. Yeah. That's so awesome. I've always looked at those and yeah. thought it was cool. Marco Johannes. Yes. Atari 2600 dude. Rendered Ghost. The Toco. Um, cardboard Box. Yes. Yeah. Crewneck Lion. Atari 1974. Uh, flying by. Ivory Johnny WC. Ivory Tower. And Excellent. Mike Latow off the top. Um, so thanks for hanging out yep. with us. Nitro Hepcat. That, say, that name sounds like this is his emote. Yeah. <laughs> Cat party. Yes. Let's put a whole bunch on the screen. Yeah. Do, do it. Do, 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 do. Oh, so pathetic. Do, do. Do. Watch them. They're all going to go all over the screen. Boom! Boing, 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 boing. And a meowy real oh, cat. Oh, no, you bad kitty. No, you're so bad. naughty. So bad. So we'll see you, everybody, in two days yes. for the uh, Doom Jaguar mm -hmm. world premiere. Um, thank you so much for hanging out with us. And... Uh, Stay safe, stay safe, and stay safe. Stay safe. One of those. Yep. And uh, we'll see you on Friday. Yes. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. -bye.